Hi everyone, and welcome to Lawful Stupid RPG, home of the 10 second TPK. It's Thursday, which means it's time for some advanced Dungeons and Dragons, courtesy of the Eroth campaign. I'm joined by a dirty half dozen. I'll let them introduce themselves. Uh, Lee, why don't you uh, take the ball and run with it here? We're doing characters or? Just, Just a little bit of both, why not? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm Lee. Everyone knows who I am. I'm one of the founders. I am playing a character called Jadarian, uh, who's an elf. And that's about as much as I'm going to give you for cool. now. Cool. Panda? Um, well, I'm Panda, and I'll be playing a tiefling called Chanta. All right, nice one. And Grendy? Hi, I'm Grendy. Um, I like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, and my character is Hagen Quell, <laughs> half elf assassin. <laughs> <laughs> Carl? Uh, hi there. <clears throat> my name is Carl, and I'm playing Bellis. She's a moon white. All right, Arnaz? Hi, my name is Arnout. I'm playing a human fighter called Aldrich, and he has a very long spear. <laughs> and Leia. Saving the best till last. Uh, my name is Leia, and I'm going to be playing a bard called Avil Rin, and he has a banjalele, which is better than a spear, in my opinion. He has a punchable face. <laughs> you shut up, okay? <laughs> cool. And uh, I am Mark. You're a kind and generous dungeon master. We're going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you really are. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we really are. <laughs> so are we sitting comfortably? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Then I'll begin. The Kashagarin Desert is a grave for fallen gods and dethroned stars. For empires dwindles to fable. The winds that rise from its heart stink of old blood and burnt metal, casting their freight of crimson sands against the walls of Fort Valandor in a ceaseless tide. The fortress has stood at the edge of the Kashigarin since the time the desert was an ocean, its foundations built on the bones of nameless leviathans. The setting sun drapes shadow about its walls, kissing its towers with gold. But tonight, no lamps kindle to answer the twilight. Tonight, Fort Valandor is in mourning. Warmaster Crane, who has served House Valandor for three generations, has been slain by assassins from House Mardoth, Valandor's hated rivals. Lord Talric Valandor has sent a small band led by his two youngest sons, on a mission to seek the Kalian Circle. Tiefling witches. The Kalian Circle has, it is said, the power to see future and past through something known as the Eye of Kalax. With the Circle's help, House of Allendor can learn the truth behind the wrongs it has suffered, if it can persuade the tieflings to help. In a high tower, overlooking a deep and verdant valley, water rushing through a river a thousand feet below, two tieflings stand by a pool of silver water. Mother Tasca Glimmer, her hand resting on the shoulder of the young apprentice beside her. In the waters ahead of them, mirrored in the surface of the pool, A small band winds its way up a mountain pathway. Led by a warrior in plate armor, half a dozen accompany him. The older tiefling looks to the younger. Why do you think Talric Valandor they trust me with lag. Two of his nope. sons to seek us out.
sorry, I didn't catch any of that. No, nope. two sons from hell. Well timed back there. <laughs> sorry, I completely missed all of that. That's fine. Tasker Glimmer places her hand on your shoulder, looking at the figures moving up the mountain path shown in the water. Why do you think Talric Valandor would send two of his sons to seek us out, Shanta? Um, uh, maybe they want, uh, some, 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 some help, maybe? I mean, we're, we're quite powerful. We need to know more. Take Erdo, meet them at the outer gate, find out what they want, and bring them to me. Okay, I, I can do that, I can do that. She'll uh, kind of scurry off as quickly as she can. <laughs> <laughs> On the road to Highthorn itself, Aldric, you ride at the front of the small group. Bellis is just behind you. Her features shaded by her priestess's robe. Behind you, strumming on a banjo lele, it sounds like uh, the painted savage and the colorblind wizard, <laughs> your younger brother, Avel. And at the rear of your, rear of your group, watching the landscape to either side, Hagen Quell. The pair of men-at-arms, Baldo and Brand, are outriders. Are we on horseback? Yeah. As you've climbed up from the Kashigarin Desert into the mountains, the temperature has dropped and intermittent vegetation appears on either side of the pass. It's about a day's ride, most of which you've spent uncomfortably in the saddle to reach Highthorn the home of the Kalian Circle. Yes. Baldo nudges his horse closer to you. They're, um... They're all witches, aren't they? He says. Yes. Uh, oh. Uh, I was hoping you'd say no. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I can't hide the truth from you. <clears throat> and I suspect that they know that we're coming given my brother's eager strumming back there. Listen, man, this is a good song. This is a classic, okay? You just gotta appreciate it. <clears throat> I, I, I heard they worship demons, Baldo says. Is that, is that right? Demons, really? I can't say. No, Bran says. No, it's monkeys. They worship monkeys. Yes, it's monkeys. No, they do. They've got a god. He's got two monkey faces. Honest. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> um, I will defer to your better judgment. Hagen, do you see anything? Um, do I see anything? A scan to either side of the road, and you're now you're passing through a narrow defile. Up ahead, you can hear the rush of water shows no, there is nothing either on the road or in the trees or on the slopes around it. But it's a good place for an ambush, so it indeed uh, pays to be alert. Nothing well, as of yet, but we should keep our wits about us. We don't know what awaits us on the road. Definitely. You round the, uh, the bend, and up ahead of you, you see greenery not like you'd have experienced anywhere in the desert down below. And a small gatehouse blocking the path, made of old yellow stone. Two figures stand on this side of the gatehouse. Beyond there's a valley, its walls lush and verdant. You can see the setting sun glinting off the spires of a tower on the far side. And um, oh, one yes. of the two you will recognize from uh, Panda's picture of uh, Chanteflair. A young tiefling woman 
dressed in, it's either a large robe or a large blanket. It's not easy to tell. And if you look at roll 20, standing next to her, you'll see a uh, another tiefling. Wow, attractive. As your group draws near, Shanta Erda nudges you. Hey, they're here. Oh. You, uh, you do the talking. I'm just going to stand here and look good. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll try. Uh, hi. She'll kind of call out towards the general distance, waving her arms just way too much. I'll ride up um, on my war horse and stop just short of them and dismount. That's a pretty horse. <laughs> His name is Bolax. I like him. Hi, Bolax. Um, why are you guys, what are you doing here? <laughs> hi, sorry, don't want to be unwelcoming, but hi. We have come on the behalf of my father, Lord Talric Valandor. He uh, sends us here on an errand to seek wisdom from your circle. Well, you've come to the right place, the uh, other tiefling says. Talric Valandor, he's some kind of big cheese down in the lowlands, right? Reckons he's uh, a lord of these mountains, too? I do not presume to assume that he does that, but... He is definitely Lord of House Valandor. Mm -hmm. The fort in which it sits. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you say, Shanta? We're going to let them in. Yeah, we, we should we should definitely let them in, but we should um we should probably take them to um to um um uh, Tusker. All right. Um. Hagen, can you roll me a d10, please? Yes. Let's see. I lean casually on my pole arm. Six. Casually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> casually. <laughs> Did you get that? Sorry. Yeah, just a moment. If you tell me what it was. It was a six. Six. Okay. All right. Um, well, in that case, uh, your previously noted alertness is enough for you to spot figures moving in the upper slopes on the left-hand side of the path, creeping slowly down towards your group from the left and from the rear. Your keen half-elven eyes spot bowmen dressed in dark clothes, deep green to camouflage themselves against the uh, against the trees moving ever closer to the uh, to the path and your group right hagen uh, his hand moves to his bow and he um immediately goes over to speak quietly to aldrich i lean down to him we have bowmen approaching mm. thank you over there he points off to the, that direction surreptitiously Please assure your masters that we come in peace. Okay, well, I will, but you should just 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 come in. It'll, it'll be easier. And she'll just okay. kind of like urge them all to quickly come in. Okay. Um, the other tiefling says, we don't have bowmen, do we? Oh. And at that yeah. point, the... Uh, yeah. The two nearest stand and let fly arrows towards your group. Oh no. Uh, Bellis, a pair of arrows whistle past your, your uh, head, thudding into the undergrowth on the far side. And uh, Aldrich, two, two, 20, um, good start to the game. Uh, oh. One goes straight low over your horse's head. The other one hits you solid in the middle of the back, um, dealing you a full six points of damage. You pitch forward on your horse, feeling blood rise up in your throat. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Hagen, you were paying close attention. And I, any actions from you? Yes, Hagen is going to draw his bow. Um, is there any chance I could? Absolutely, you can, you can lose up a couple of shots. All right. These bowmen are only armor class 12. Okay. Um, let's see. <laughs> I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, God. All right. You're All fumbling right. for your arrows. Your bow kind of dangles loose from your wrist. Um, uh -huh. Nobody notices. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Entertaining. All right. Um, Aldrich and uh, Bellis. What are you guys doing? Um, I uh, <clears throat> I was dismounted as far as I remember, but um, I um, I grab the loaded crossbow which sits on the back of my saddle and I uh, yeah. see if I can fire a shot back at the bowman. Okay, sure. The one who uh, who shot you, presumably. Yes, revenge is uh, yeah. is always a good motivator. Revenge is best served with a crossbow bolt. Yes. All right. Okay, that uh, it's armor class fifteen. Uh, All right, solid hit. And that does three points of damage. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, the crossbow bolt. You hear it punch through his uh, his metal breastplate. He staggers side, but clutching at the fletching that's sticking out of his shoulder, um, and shouts, "Take them! Take them!" From the trees behind him, you see four more men rush down, a total of six, count them. And uh, within moments, the arrows are flying thick and fast towards you. Uh, Bellis. Uh, are they within 30, uh, 30 yards? Yes. Within 10 yards as well? The, uh, the nearest two are, yes. Okay, no, that's enough. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I uh, cast a spell. Okay, and it is? Command. Okay, <laughs> and the command is? <clears throat> For the one who is uh, about to loosen more arrows to drop. Okay. He uh, compliantly immediately drops his bow <clears throat> and looks to you with a pleased expression. I look pleased. Oh! Like <laughs> <laughs> Avel. Yes, okay. Well, I'm going to put my ukulele down. And uh, are they... <laughs> Are they within a uh, sword God. range so far? <laughs> you could easily leap from your horse or ride your yeah. horse toward one of them and strike, yes. Whichever oh, you choose. yeah, I have a horse. I forgot about that. Um, okay, I'm going to ride up to one with my uh, Kopesh and I'm going to try and take a swing at one with uh, my Go Kopesh. Go for it. So, d class 12. Yep. Uh, I got 12. All right, spot on. Damage for um, the Kopesh. Uh, it's 2d4 plus one. Go for it. Uh, six. Okay, you ride forward, Kopesh high, shoo, it comes down, the guy's head spins in the air, and his decapitated body falls sprawling onto the path, blood gushing onto the red sand. Nice. Um, Shanta, at your side, Erdo gives a frightened shriek, and uh, grabs hold of you and starts trying to pull you back through the gate. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I will probably allow him to keep pulling me back through the gate. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but I, I will kind of turn to him just be like, what, what, what's happening? What's happening? And kind of... Uh, We're going to get murdered, he shouts. Okay, hearing that, um, I... I think... Uh, I think I got shield as a spell. Did I? Yep, you yeah, did. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll do that then. I'll, I'll put a nice shield. <laughs> okay, that raises your armor class immediately to 18. You feel the wash of magical energy shimmer around your body and there's a kind of a vague glimmering in the air as the shield is erected. Okay, as I'm saying, arrows come thick and fast from all directions. Um, Bellis and uh, Hagen, you are both hit for six points of damage. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Hagen, this is a sore injury to you. Uh, the arrow goes clear through your shoulder. Um, as for Bellis, it takes her through the throat. She slumps oh. sideways off her horse, blood fountaining from her mouth. Uh, she looks dead. Hagen. 
Oh dear. Um, <laughs> well, so you said I dropped my uh, bow, right? Well, it's dangling uh, rather embarrassingly from your from your wrist. Okay. Well, Hagen's going to kind of grunt from pain with the uh, arrow sticking through his shoulder, but try to, tries to reposition his uh, bow as well as he can. Um, is there any okay. chance? Okay. Yeah, you, you know, you can snatch it up easily and, uh, and right. take more shots or whatever you like. Right. He's going to try and take a shot at uh, one of these guys. Okay. As and with your bow, it's two, it's two shots around because you're not moving. So, as again, arm plus 12. All right. That is... I rolled an 11. And let's see, I have a... Uh, my attack bonus should be, what, plus three for my... Yeah, it'll be a hit. All right. And then okay, give me uh, d6 plus whatever damage. Will you let me know when it's my turn again, uh, Mark? Yeah, you'll be up in a moment. Yep. I think it's just a naked d6. Um, it's only a two. Okay. Well, this is the one who you were shooting at earlier on, and he's already taken a, an injury from a crossbow bolt. Um, uh. The arrow finishes him off. There are four left, so not quite ready for a morale check yet. Aldrich and Bellis at the same time now. Um, Carl, you can roll me a d10, please. Let me know if you get a 10. Actually, I will uh, rise. Using, okay. Using my divine resilience. Ah, okay. And then, <clears throat> like a corpse rising from the dead. A very <laughs> short corpse. <laughs> <laughs> A corpse, nonetheless. <laughs> if Chanta sees this, this is going to freak her out. <laughs> oh, God. Titan's blanket. <laughs> and I will immediately start with casting a spell. Um, <laughs> and it's uh, a cast of level one. Okay, Divine Resilience, I want to point this out to you. I mean, I, I hate to criticize this early in the game, but that only comes in at, at level 20. It doesn't say so in my, uh, in my hand that I got from you. No, it's on the class list, if you look at on level 20 on the class list. Oopsie. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so you can roll me a 10 to see if you bleed. Okay. A bit big for your boots. <laughs> I thought this is I like cool. ambition, Carl. That's very, very cool. Right. <laughs> I'd like, can I have my level 20 ability? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I rolled a three. You rolled a three. Okay, so you believe. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, and uh, Aldrich at the same time. Okay. Um, do I know if uh, Bellis carries any kind of healing potions on her? She is absolutely does not carry healing potions, no. She's okay. the same level as you are. All right, I'm just. You could t you could spend an action to bind her wounds to stop her bleeding out. As you can see, she's lying on the ground. The arrow has gone through the kind of the muscle of her neck. Um, she's blood kind of frothing and bubbling at her lips. But okay. I mean, but that's a good sign, right? I mean, blood bubbles mean she's breathing. <laughs> okay. Um, I, 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 I look at the uh, at Urdo, and I say, "You yeah, uh, bind her wound now." I charge for the men and. Plant my uh, pull, my my uh, runcer in the ground and receive the charge of the men that are ch charging towards us. Assuming they're charging. Oh, okay. If they're not, yeah. Then as, as I'm, a, a nice, no. I did say four of them were charging down the slope toward you. So yes. you run forward. Go ahead, make a make an attack roll. Okay. Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that that's modified to a uh, twenty-three. Dude's only armor class 12, leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, that's double damage. Triple damage, actually. <laughs> um, and that's going to explode. Uh, 33 damage. <laughs> okay, yeah. You spear the poor guy right through the middle. He slides halfway down your pollen before he realizes he's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, okay do, I get um, my, do I get my second attack? Yeah, you can yank your pollen out of him. Um, there's bits of. Yeah, enemy hanging on it, and if you want to take your round, I get you'll... two attacks and then three. Yeah. Okay, so my second attack is going to take the second one with the half strike. Yep. Yep. Um, that is a modified eighteen, and the damage is twelve. Okay, you whirl the lancer around your head. Crack. 
and up against the side of his skull. His skull just caves in and he drops. Uh, the remaining two, yeah, they fail their morale check really, really badly. Um, one of them looks at the other, fuck this, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> and they turn and they start running. Uh, you get I a free glower attack at them as they run away. Can I, do I get a free attack against out. them? You will get one for a free attack against one of them as, as he runs, yeah. Okay. Is that now or later? That's right now. Okay. And that's a main, the main half, right? Not, not the half strike. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, seventeen modified seventeen maximum damage. Uh, so that's fourteen damage. Okay, you eviscerate the poor guy from behind as he's trying to run away. Uh, and the last kind of thing you see is, is his companion ah! just going <laughs> off up into the. Uh, I growl after him. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um, Avel, you and uh, in fact, Avel and Shanta still have an action coming this round if you want to take it. Right. Oh, of something to do? I don't yeah. know. I guess it can be like, yeah, that's right. Don't mess with Haas Valandor. Uh huh. That's my action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shanta? Um, is it possible? I mean, I could be completely wrong. Um, could I cast sleep on the person running away? Yeah, you totally could. Okay. Um, how would I do this? Do tell. Uh, he's within range and he gets a saving throw. Okay. Which he fails with the 12. Um, gets half a dozen yards away from you and then the sleep spell overcomes him. Hits the ground, rolls onto his back and uh, almost immediately starts snoring. I am then going to run after him if I can catch up to him at all. Uh, easily done, yes. Okay, so yeah, you catch up with him in moments. Uh, he's lying passed out on the ground. Okay. Um, I'm going to call over to my uh, fellow tiefling. Uh, Erdo. Do you think you could carry him back to Tasca? I think she might want to ask him some questions. Erdo is kneeling down beside Bellis's body, um, holding his hand against her throat. Um, little busy. Okay, don't worry. I can, I can figure something out and she will... I'm worried about what happens if I... Take my hand off. Oh, yeah. Uh. I mean, I could always carry him. I got big muscles, you know? Uh, yeah, um, sh sure. Okay, just don't wake him up. Nah, it'll be fine. I like your banjo lately. Thank you. Not many people know what it is. You, I see you are a man of culture as well. It's good. Is 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 Bell essentially like just flatlined on the ground? <laughs> With uh, Erdo's help, she's not bleeding any further, and he's man he manages now to kind of rips off a uh, edge of his cloak. Damn, I love this cloak. He says, <laughs> and forms a, a crude bandage with it around her neck. Um, we can get her inside, he says, but she's not going to last much longer. Um, uh, Mother Glimmer should see to her as soon as she can. Yeah, let's... Uh, uh... Yeah, we're all doing pretty badly, actually. And he, he bends down and scoops the tiny Bellis in his arms. Uh, guys, you should probably come get indoors. I have no idea. I promise that wasn't us. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have no idea what was going on, but I think it's safer inside for everyone. So it's just, like, rushing, like, please get inside. <laughs> okay. Right. So I'm, I'm picking up the guy that was just charmed to sleep, right? Yeah, you're carrying him. Yeah. Cool. I've got him like this. <laughs> okay. You uh, step past the gatehouse and feel an unusual pressure in the air as you do so. It's almost as if you were passing through a screen of invisible water. On the other side, the air is fresh and clear. And around you, Highthorn Valley opens up. A thousand feet below, you can see the picture in Roll 20, water works its way through the valley floor. Around you, on either side, the valley walls are lush with greenery, forested life. Flight of birds bursts loose from nearby trees. 
and a single bridge of stone makes its way across the valley toward where a sturdy tower rises on a pinnacle of rugged rock. Highthorn. With Urdo in the lead, carrying Bellis's form, Aldrich, you follow. Hagen, you're pretty much limping along. Yeah. With an arrow sticking out of my shoulder, right? Is there any chance I could it's still break part wanna... of it off? Not to leave yeah. it in there. <laughs> Don't make it any worse. But, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got one in my back, too. It itches. Snap it loose. Yeah. Yeah. Banta can't decide who to help. She kind of goes to, to help Hagen and then will go to Aldrich and be like, ad, ad, uh, uh. <laughs> just as she's helpful. walking like, ad, uh. <laughs> Hagen worry, worry, about worry about them. Worry about them. Oh. I'll, uh, I'll go and try and help Hagen then. I'll kind of try and scoop myself under his arm to kind of help aid him okay. in, even if he can walk fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost entirely, but not completely useless. But... Perfect. <laughs> That's just what I want. <laughs> Erdo leads you across the bridge through the small gardens that surround Highthorn and in through a, uh, an entrance chamber dominated by this immense double wide staircase that rises up a couple of stories galleries on either side. A woman stands watching you from the upper floor. Concern written deep on her face. This way, um, Erdo. Uh, Shanta. Well done, at least you managed to get them all in alive. Uh, kind of. I, I think, uh, I, what, what's her name again? Is it Be Bellis? Bellis. 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 Be I think Bellis needs some help. Can you get, um, Mother Glimmer, please? No, well, it is Mother Glimmer. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> as you reach, as uh, Erdo reaches the top of the stairs, she closes her eyes and places her hand on Bellis's head. Murmurs slow words of prayer. There's a gleaming pale red light between her hand and Bellis's forehead. Bellis, your eyes flicker open as you feel the ragged pain in your throat slowly die away. You cough up one last clot and are conscious once more. Thank you. Welcome to Highthorn. My name is Tasker Glimmer. I am the chief of the Kalian Circle. And I presume I am your host. You've brought trouble to our doors. Rarely does that happen. This way, please. Make yourselves comfortable and we'll see what this is all about. Oh, uh, Tasker, just quickly. Um, I, most of them died, but when I managed to put one to sleep. I didn't know if you wanted to question him or figure out why they're here. Well, I want to question him. Well, I mean, he's here for the questioning. I mean, he's just here, you know? Do what you want with him. Well done. Well done, Shanta. Um, um, Erdo, Take our sleeping guest here to uh, to Targon and have him clap the individual in irons. We'll be along shortly to see what he has to say. Excuse my impertinence, but I have an arrow in my back and so does my fellow companion here. Um, is there anything we can do about that? <laughs> so you do, so you do. You can at least walk as far as my chambers and I will... Uh, Tend to your uh, unwanted puncturings there. Hmm? Thank you, thank you. Care for him I'm first. Right. I'm expendable. Oh, expendable are you? Oh, well. Very good. Don't Very noble. 
flips and switches under um, Aldrich's arm this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> if I lean on you, I'll crush you. <laughs> be fair, probably, my horn probably accidentally catches you as I try and duck under you. <laughs> <You're just> like, <laughs> 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 Makes it worse. <laughs> House of Glimmer's Chambers, a, uh, a round room that occupies most of the second floor of the tower. Thick carpets on the floor, low sofas against the wall behind which bookshelves creaking under leather-bound books. A heavy stone stand with an astrolabe, a desk with an ornate hourglass. The top and bottom appear to be fashioned from bronze dragon claws. The lighting is little globes of magical luminescence. The whole place is arcane, yet somehow cozy. She uh, sits the two injured down on these long, low, plush leather sofas. And with practiced hands that have clearly plucked more than one arrow from an injured body, removes the shafts. And you feel the same sense of healing that uh, Bella said moments ago. A whispered prayer. You think you catch the name Amon Ibor. A crimson glow. And the injuries close before your eyes as if by, well, uh, magic, I guess. (laughs) Uh, Avel, you notice... uh, you're not the only people in the chamber. That's He's totally sitting on the far side of the room, just kind of almost in shadows, a book in his lap. Looks up as you all walk in. Golden hair, frames, an aquiline face. An elf observes you. Okay, well, I sort of stand near him and I go, well, uh, hello. Um, I see you are here too, but uh, you are not a tiefling, I see. Uh, why, why are you here then, hmm? I'm here visiting. Visiting, yes. Well, I, I see we're all doing that today, but um, I suppose for different reasons, you know. Aye, different reasons. Aye, yes, very true. This is a good conversation we're having. <laughs> you know. It's it? okay, he's, he's my friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jade Arian rolls his eyes. Hey, oh, uh... my elf. <laughs> <laughs> A new voice uh, comes from the doorway. More guests. Tasca doesn't even look up while she's busy tending to her arrows. Yes, Zora, I suppose you have a problem with that. We don't know who they are, the newcomer says. A grey-skinned tiefling with pale eyes stands, arms folded in the doorway, frowning in undisguised displeasure. (sighs) The elf was one thing, but these? She jutts her chin toward you, Aldric. This one bears the colors of House Valandor. I don't think we've... I don't think we've forgotten what your house did to us in the Crusade of Tears, man. Come to finish the job, have you? I have not. We come seeking wisdom, that is all. Wisdom is indeed in short supply in House Valandor. Pity your forebears did not seek it before you. I cannot speak for my forebears. And who can you speak for, then? For Lord Tarek. What is your name? My father. I am Aldric. Second son of House Valandor. I see. We don't warrant the first son, then, do we not? Such an honor. (laughs) 
I see you brought your moon white with you and your hired. Who's the fop in the hat? That's my brother. Well, I mean, but. do I get a say in this? That that my hat is very attractive. I'll have you know, and I. It involves a very long story with a dragon, or three. Of course it does. Forgive me, uh, Aldric, did you say? I thought that Lord Valandor only had two sons. Well, he's my half-brother. A second son and a bastard, and a handful of hangers-on. This must be a mission of great importance for Lord Talric to send his brightest and best all the way to the Kalian Circle. Her tent administrations of your injuries finished. Uh, Tasker stands, wipes her hands clean. Allow me to introduce Zora Hallow, my lieutenant. Charming. Hmm. A pleasure, I'm she sure. Yeah. She's the kind face of the Kalian Circle. Zora Slaves. <laughs> well, I understand her suspicion, but we mean you no harm. Though I do, I must ask, how are your defenses? Is there any chance that our assailants may enter? None, Tasker says. I personally have placed potent wards around Highthorn. Hmm. Only a sorcerer who could best my own power would be able to come through them. And I don't think that uh, House Mardoth possesses such people. Those were men <clears throat> of Mardoth, weren't they? Most likely. Yes. I, um, I, 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 sorry to interrupt. I slept one of them for questioning, so you could find out from them, maybe. She kind of just goes back into herself, wraps blanket tighter. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Most assuredly, we will. But we've uh, kept our first guest here waiting long enough, I think, says Tasker. She gestures toward a, a low side table with his carafes of water and bowls of fine, fresh, moist fruit. Please help yourselves. And Jadarian, she turns toward you. You have shown patience and forbearance of considerable depth, my friend Alf. Well, I'm sure you are fully aware that we live for a long time. I've got patience. You've been willing to wait us out then, have you? Maybe. Your food is quite adequate. Adequate? High praise. You've come here for one reason. Yes. Tell me. I thought you already knew. Tell me anyway. <laughs> I am looking for an artifact. The Eye of Calyx. What a coincidence. Yes. We too seek it out. For what reasons? It's power of prophecy. We hope to plumb the depths of its wisdom. Hence my previous request. I heard it was here. I looked to the tiefling. It is. So it's real then? It is. You Would thought I... it otherwise? It's 
has uh, gathered quite a bit of uh, myth about it. We were oh, it's hoping it was real. real. Yeah. Zura. Please go and see our guest. Make sure he is safely bound. The Master Targon has done as I asked. I will tend to our guest's requests. For a moment, Zura looks as if she's about to protest. Can't quite find the words. And nods her head and departs. Tasker turns toward uh, toward you, Shanta. I think the time has come, Shanta. Please? For you to take the next step in your tuition. Really? Tasker turns, walks over to the far wall between two bookcases, places her head against the wall, and barely more than a breath, whispers a word. The wall shimmers, becomes as gas, and fades to nothing. There's a small room beyond, with a simple stone bowl on a pedestal, in which shimmering silver water cast illumination rippling off the walls. Tasker turns and beckons to the rest of you to follow her through. I follow. Yeah. Yeah, Tasker is like shaking in excitement and is right behind her. <laughs> Egan reluctantly follows, bringing up the rear. Follow too. Okay. Is that what I think it is? The water is silver, but not because of any nature of the fluid, but because of what lies within it. Glimmering at the bottom of the pool, about the size of a fist, is a silver orb, cut and faceted like a gem, bleeding silver light into the water. The silver flows through the water the same that oil does across the surface of a pool, filling it with argent luminosity. Kalax was a demon, Tasker says. In ancient days, he was served by the Kalian Circle. Eventually, we tired of his evil and slew him. His body returned to the abyss, as with all such things, leaving only one thing behind. His eye. Now, he serves us. What you have heard is true. The eye of Kalax can see past and future alike. And Jadarian Thalorin has asked for insights into his own. Shanta, you're going to give it to him. I, okay. W will we not have it anymore? You're going to give him the insight. Dear girl. Oh. Okay. I think I can do it. I've just dropped you a message in Discord, which will detail uh, what Shanta is about to experience. Okay. Feel free to share this as much or as little as you wish. Okay. Place your hands in the water. Let the eye open your inner eye. Sheila 
go forward very excitedly and then we'll kind of as she's reaching her hands in it she'll be shaking and as she puts them in you'll just see her eyes go almost as if they've just they're just staring into nothing um she puts her hand in and she's like i uh there's a elven lady crying um she's leaving a some kingdom with big mountains um now she's on a ship she's it, it, there's a storm and one of her eyes is silver and the other's blue and now she's on a beach and there's a there's a big castle on a cliff and then an imperial flag of Toralek. There's two elves with her, and and a, and a half elven child as well. And she takes her hand, and I think it's her mom. I feel sick. <laughs> Tasker stares at you in silence, nodding. Is that normal? You've done well. Go, sit, pour yourself some water. She's just going to sit on the floor right where she was stood, just plops herself down, just kind of always adjusting her eyes as if like it's like a bright light or something. <laughs> Judarian. The words sink in. A kingdom surrounded by mountains. Have I got any reclamation of that? The kingdom surrounded by mountains. It's almost certainly Ardminia. Ardminia. A great castle overlooking the sea with the imperial flag flying from it. Yeah. Although you may not know it by name, the others will know this as probably Watadavia, one of the northern cities of the of the empire. The eyes of two different colors, a memory from your childhood, your mother without a doubt, hmm. the half-elven girl, well, that's anyone's guess. Hmm. But it's not only, for, not only your childhood that this stirs memories from, Aldric, an elven <laughs> woman with eyes of two different colors. You've seen this. I have. 10 years ago, maybe more. You'll have been a double handful of years. Aval even younger. But you're sure the three elves came to visit your father once. In your mind, the image of them, they seem very, very tall. But you recall one of them looking down at you and without a, out a doubt, one silver eye, one blue. Do I remember who they were? No, you were just a kid. Shortly afterwards, after even seeing them, you remember your father uh, shooing you out of the room. Avel, you have a vague recollection of uh, of an elf with two colored eyes and then being told to go back to the kitchen. Kitchen? You're sure one of them was holding an unusual stringed instrument? Perhaps your first banjo lady. Hmm. Hmm. 
So, Tanska says, it is real. Does this answer your questions, Master Thalorin? Some. Some. Mostly, my years of tracking her down have proven quite useful, seeing as though she has visited these parts. Hopefully she may still be in this area. Thank you. It may interest you to know that I have seen this woman. She Where? was with my father about ten years ago. I was but a child at the time. I assume, however, that uh, you were not. No. <clears throat> I've probably been traveling longer than your father's been alive. I've been searching for her for that long. A relative, perhaps? My mother. I wonder what business she had with my father. I also wonder, maybe I could speak to your father. You are welcome to join us on our way back. He bows his head. However, I also have a request of you and the circle. I say, pointing at uh, the eye of Kalax. <laughs> and what might that be? My father had hoped to gain some insight into the tragedy that has befallen our house in recent days. And what tragedy is this? Our war master was assassinated. Crane? You know of him? Everybody knows of war master Crane, one of the finest military minds of his generation. Indeed. He was like a second father to me. Second fathers and second sons. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. If I may peek into this eye and gain some insight into how he might have died, how these assassins were able to gain entrance into House Valandor to do such a heinous thing. I would be much obliged. He was assassinated, you say? By who? House Mardoth, we believe. An old feud. Fresh blood for old grudges. If that is the case, if they hope to rekindle this feud, then we shall answer it. But... And do you think, do you think the Eye of Kalax can give you some answers you would like to find? Perhaps the truth lies closer to home. Indeed. But... <sighs> we were... Our war master was a very capable warrior, and he was well protected. How oh, he was able to know, gain entrance. We know how capable he was. He's been hunting tieflings all his life. I see. Uncomfortable for you to think of the man you respect in such a way, hmm? Or perhaps not. Perhaps this matter means little to you, the death of my people. It means more to me than you think. <clears throat> Indeed. A bold claim. 
for a son of Valandor. You know your history, do you not? You know what your house did? I do. In the Crusade of Tears? It is a history I was born into. Yet have never been part of. Speak up, Moon White. <clears throat> well, as you know, that the history has uh, many sides. And in the end, <clears throat> um, my mother knows that death comes for us all. Tiefling, Valandor, Moonwhite, all. Mother, I, I know that what you're saying is true, and I understand, but he is right. He can't help how he was born. We know that more than anyone else. I will be counseled by my apprentice then and show you some lenient hospitality. I give her a bow. Let us tend to the matter of this prisoner first. I would like to be allowed in, uh, to participate in his interrogation. So would I. I will show you a generous hand. I give you the prisoner to speak with in your own time on your own terms. I will tend to matters requiring my attention and you may deal with him as you see fit. It will give you a chance to find out what you wish to know. It will give me a chance to know your true characters. <clears throat> um, Shanta, why don't you take, I'm, I'm sorry, um, with the hat, what is your name? Oh, um, Avel, Avel Rin. Avel Rin. Why don't you take Avel Rin and Master Thalarin here, down to Erdo? and get them provisioned for a, a couple of days stay here. More, vi more visitors? Do they get to stay? As I say, I will be counseled by my apprentice and show leniency and hospitality. Okay. Um, c c come with me. <laughs> do you think you could play the banjolele for me? Why, of course. What tune do you want? Anything. One of the classics, I suppose. Uh-huh. And could, would you consider teaching me how to use your bow again? So you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so aloof. Dear so idea. <laughs> <clears throat> I know you keep saying no, but I just... I'm afraid you wouldn't even be able to pull the string. Well, that's a bit harsh. That's yeah, I'll teach you how to play the banjo because that, in my opinion, is better than any bow or any weapon. Okay. Aye, it will certainly keep you alive. <laughs> okay, C -c come with me then. I'll um, I'll I'll uh, introduce you properly to my friend, and she'll lead them. Okay. <laughs> As you uh, depart Tasker's chambers, there's uh, a powerful, brutish figure is actually already waiting there as the all of you emerge from the, uh, the chamber of the eye. You know, I don't want to say that he's um, 
the ugliest trollborn that you've ever seen. <laughs> but uh, he's doing his best. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Wow. Valandor. Uh, and a moon white. And half elf from the looks of your ears. Very good. Uh, and trollborn from the look of your everything. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Name's Targon. I split skulls around here. Don't give me a reason to split any of yours. <clears throat> Zura said uh, there's to be a questioning. Indeed. Tasker nods. Please, Targon. Show our guests to the cells. As observers, not as prisoners. I've given them leave to question the prisoner. <clears throat> If you say so, you're the boss. Come on, you three. Get out of the way, Shanta. He takes the uh, three of you back onto the galleries to one side and down a tight, winding stair that drops into uh, an abutting tower where a fan of cells open up from a central hallway. Slumped in the back of one of them, a really, really pissed off expression on his face. Is the prisoner who was dropped with the sleep spell. Targon wanders over to the, to the bars and leans against them. Hello. I've brought some friends to see you. <laughs> They're really keen to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, be next door if you feel like screaming. The man at the back of the cell swallows hard. Uh, um... um is about all he manages. Yes, this one is a screamer. I can tell from the look in his eyes. He looks from one to the other to the other of you. Um, he says it again. Clearly a deeply eloquent man. <laughs> Who do you work for? Um, listen. It's a simple question. Oh, House Mardoff, okay? House Mardoff. Wow. Or Valandor, I'm Mardoff. How easy was that? I've never met a Mardoth coward who wouldn't talk. <laughs> Hagen draws his dagger and holds it very close to the man's face. Now, why don't you tell us something about Mardoth troop movements in the area? Uh, um, I'm not sure I... I'm not sure I could be of much help to you there. Um, I'm just with a with a with a scouting party. That's all, and we uh, I don't really have a very uh, high level of command and control knowledge. Almost Who's within a blink right? of an eye, Jade Aaron's bows off his back, an arrow drawn, and fires between his legs. And puts it the man gives head. a shriek and scuttles back. Looks at the arrow, then at you. Clearly, he's barely even seen it move. Look, (sighs) 
What, what exactly is it that you're concerned about? He says. Hagen was standing in front of the man and he looks back kind of startled at, uh, at the elf. <laughs> um, before turning his attention back to the prisoner. How did you know that we were coming here? We were following you. Hmm. And then we we cut through the high part. Look, it's not hard to notice when when sons of sons of Valandor leave their um, he looks up at you okay look I'll tell you what you need to know but you've got to promise to let me go okay meanwhile making their way down uh, one of the side stairways Avel and Shanta are perhaps discussing the finer points of a banjo playing. <laughs> Jadarian's obviously lost interest in uh, coming with you and has um, gone to participate in the interrogation instead. Sorry, I thought I was with them. It's almost like he doesn't even know you're there. I mean, I swear. I think I think they asked for the bow and he just was like, yeah, I'm not going with them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's my bad. I've, I've spent right. more time with Chanta than I need to, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Um... I really like when you, you do that and it makes a noise. Oh, you mean strumming? Yes, there's a word for it. There are words for many things about the banjo lady. You're really smart. <laughs> yes, thank you. I, uh, I spent all, all of my life learning this, this instrument. It is mayhaps my only accomplishment in life, as my father likes to tell me. Bastard. Is that his name? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. And if you ever meet him, please call him that. He won't, he won't, he won't mind if I say that. For, or is it like, if you get to know him, you could call him that? Well, any friend of me, his favourite son, is a friend of his. So, you know. I'm call your, him by his first name. I'm your friend? Why, of course. There's little cute horns on your head. How could I not have you as my friend? Besides, you seem to appreciate the banjo and well, no one in my life is quite connected in the way that you have. Okay. <laughs> she's like, at this point, like, you can see her her eyes are just like, she's shaking in like, excitement. <laughs> You're probably safe to assume this is the first time someone's actually called her a friend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, well, <laughs> We, I, I, um, we, we, we should hang out a lot while you stay here, and and you can teach me more about the Banjali and things. Well, as long as you show me around, because this place is magnificent. It's really pretty. It's 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 lovely, and the, and the people here, they're, they're really nice. Yes, yeah. I can already tell. I mean, I've spoken to you after all. Blushes. <laughs> um. Ahead of you, you uh, emerge into the lower store chambers where uh, Erdo holds court, making sure that supplies come and go via the river, making sure they reach the right parts of, uh, of Highthorn. By this time of the evening, as usual, uh, Erdo is quite drunk. <laughs> he has a a stash of rum somewhere from which she's currently uh, taking a, a deep swig as you enter. Hmm. Uh, hi. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, Guitar Boy. I remember you. You're the one who didn't get shot. Yes, that is absolutely right, because I beheaded somebody. But you cut that guy's for... head right off. It was like... Yeah, I did. I know. Yes, yes, that was all me. Thank you. Thank you. You know, 
I think they yes. were scared of of um, his weapon because they, they was telling me all about it down the stairs, and it sounds really powerful. Oh, it certainly is. Maybe you should get one of those, and then you won't r- have to run away from all the fights. Well, um, it's it was a tactical decision, uh, Shanta. You know that. Uh, you know, I mean, besides, I've got this beautiful hair to look after. I can't be getting blood and brains all over it. I mean, we're just just. Now. Yeah, he places a hand on his shoulder. I know, I know what you mean. Okay, hair is a massive deal. All right, if it doesn't look nice in battle. It'll never look nice again, I'll tell you that. Right, see? See? He understands me. That's what they're going to be writing about in the sonnets. There's going to be sonnets? Oh, sure. Could you maybe leave out the bit where I... Okay, great. Well, you can put in a whole thing about about Shanta sending them all to sleep with her spell. Absolutely. (laughs) That uh, That was pretty good. That was pretty cool. Thank you. So look, um, well, what do you, I mean, you want some rum? Why are you here? What, what? We're here to uh, stock up on supplies for our stay here, if I do believe. Oh, okay. No, right, this way. Um, so there's what, uh, six of you and, uh, no, eight of you with your two guards, right? Yes. Okay, so we'll need, dry, no, we'll, okay, this way. He leads okay. you through a back. There's a right. maze of towering boxes and packing crates and wine barrels and dried rations and dried fish and dried fruit and fresh goods and comes to the back and then then he kind of stops. Uh, this this is not r- right. Who who has been in my boxes? Something wrong. Well, these have all been these have all been moved. Look, and he uh, kind of goes to the uh, sh- 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 to come and look at this. Okay, and um, she's gonna go. Have I ever been in this? I imagine I've been in this place before, right? Probably, yeah. Do yeah. I know? It's, I mean, it's a, an ever-changing maze. The layout of the boxes is different every single time, but it's clear where right at the back, where he's going for his best supplies. Some of them have been pushed away. And indeed, down at the back of the wall, what would normally be hidden behind the boxes, a considerable amount of the stonework has either fallen or been pushed away. Oh, no. uh, That looks like a tunnel. Do you, do you... Very perceptive. Do you think someone's come in? And she's instantly gonna... How, how long... How long does my shield last? If I haven't got it, she's going to recast it if she can. <laughs> okay, yeah. It lasts a few minutes, but uh, she's going to pop it back again. Like, instantly is like, mm-mm, <laughs> not happening. Um, do you think someone came in? We we should investigate, right? Um, uh, maybe maybe we should go grab someone. I don't, I don't think I'm the best person to, to investigate. Um, in the, what, about, what do you say, Guitar Boy? Well, I mean, there is a tunnel, which probably means we should follow it, right? And if you're saying that supplies are gone, then someone or some people have taken it, which leads to the inevitable conclusion of let's go down the tunnel, all of us, all three of us, let's go. <laughs> Will you protect me with your banjalele? Absolutely, I'll strum the whole way. Okay. Erda slaps you on the shoulder. I like this guy. I like him. He's cool. Come on, Panda, it'll be safe. Uh, Chandra, it'll be safe. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Let's go. Down the tunnel. What, what could possibly go wrong, Erda says. <laughs> as the three of you <laughs> head into... <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. You think we should uh, tell someone where we're going? Probably not. We'll be safe, right? We'll be fine. <laughs> Back in the interrogation cell. Look, I, I'll, t- I'll tell you what you want, as long as, as long as you promise that I'm going to get out of here. These cast, tieflings, they're witches, right? I, I cast a spell. Go on. Um, and as part of the spell, I ask him the question: <clears throat> Who in House Valendor told you that we were coming? 
and where we were going. And I cast Thought Capture. <laughs> nice. Okay. He just kind of shakes his head. Look, look, it's... <coughs> it's really simple. Sons of Valandor come and go, and it's not quiet news. But you hear, almost see, the thought... bubble out of his head, floating in the air. And with an invisible hand, snare it and hear the name Captain Borak, the War Master's Lieutenant. Thank you. No, you're, it's, look, that's just the way it is. It's all yours. I turn around and not leave. Hagen glances back at Bellas in confusion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, then, why don't you tell me, uh, which ear would you like to keep? Um, <laughs> he moves his dagger uh, back and forth from either side, along the other side of his head. I'm, I'm gonna go with both of them if I, if I can. Is that, that's an option, right? I can say that? <laughs> Maybe, but what can you give me in trade then? Uh, there's not an not an, an awful lot for me to, to to share beyond beyond what I've already said. Though I mean, <clears throat> I'm feeling the left ear. <laughs> you, you hear you hear a, a, a little moon white voice from the corridor saying he's a liar. <laughs> 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 he looks up at you. Uh, look, uh, um, uh, uh, um, Lord Aldric. <laughs> We're men of our houses, not not mercenaries. He said. He said, glancing back toward uh, toward Hagen. We, 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 we should treat uh, treat each other with honor, right? With 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 with, with dignity. You you can't let this man torture me. Well, put it this way, you shot me in the back. I don't much care what you think. Uh, Why did your house kill our war master? I'm just a scout. These decisions aren't something I know about. Lord Rufix him, says I, go I, do I a I thing and we... I grab him by the collar and lift yeah. him up bodily up against the wall. Okay, he's like... <laughs> I can break you like a twig. Give me a reason not to. Oh, shit. Wait, okay. I'll give you, I'll give you what you need to know. You're wetting yourself. <laughs> give me more than that. You should leave. All of Why? you. You should leave. Why? A good question. Shanta, Avel, and Erdo. Oh, no. The tunnel winds its way deep underneath the walls of Highthorn. Up ahead, you can hear the sound of the river flowing, rushing over stone in the valley floor. This, this means we're, we're outside the wards, Odo says. This means that this tunnel has gone through the wards. Um, 
uh, Shanti, you know more about these things than me, but that that shouldn't be possible, right? I I, I don't think so. Um, I I think I think I I I I think we should go back. <laughs> I I um I I, I think Tas Tasca would be it would be looking for me, and she might need my help. And and or and I I don't. I don't really want Zara, Zara to get mad, and I, I think we should go back. Oh, come on, nonsense. We haven't seen the end of the tunnel yet. Have we seen the end of the tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> Avel, up ahead there is greyish light. There would possibly be moonlight, the night sky filtering down into the depths of the valley. You're probably pretty close to the end of the tunnel if you can see mm. the moonlight already. Okay. Erdo looks well, between you and Shanta and back to you and Shanta. Listen, I've got what I've come here for. I just wanted to go through the tunnel. And it seems to me that whoever dug this tunnel must have done it over the course of a few days, correct? I mean, really, how far away are we from the actual keep itself? Well, the keep is straight up the tunnel is dug under its foundations and up to the river so it can't be more than a hundred yards long that's a fair bit of work so not one person perhaps two maybe even three I, I, this might have taken a sizable number yes <laughs> I, I, I don't know too much about these things but I, I, I think this might have been a, a long time. Yes, <laughs> yes. This more scary. We should really go yes. back. <laughs> well, it would be a lot of work for three people. <laughs> I suppose we should go back now that we, uh, we've seen the end. And we okay. can tell your superiors about it or whatever. And I'll tell my brother. It'd be great. Okay. Okay. And, and we can tell, and we can tell Bastard. Um, about this story when I need mean Yes, Bastard Valandor. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, at that point, a shadow passes across the moonlight. You realize that someone else is in the tunnel. You hear the scrape of boots coming your way. Back in the interrogation room... <laughs> I'm taking bets. Is it, is it just going to be the bard who gets it, or is the bard going to get everybody else killed? <laughs> Put your answers in chat. We'll take a poll by the end of the show. <laughs> Who dies, you decide. <laughs> you should get out, the guard says, the, the scout says. If you want to live... You should leave now. Why is that? Because it's not Valandor we mm. were looking for. Mm. Circle. Where are they coming in? <sighs> Tell me, man! I say, <laughs> crushing his neck. <laughs> Let go. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's a tunnel. They'll give a signal. And then they'll send the wyverns in. Okay. What? That Glenda woman said this place was impregnable. Last time I take the word of a tiefling. Okay. Um, I slam him with the back of his head against the wall to just knock him out. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a loud crunching noise and he hits the floor. Oh dear. Oh, hope we didn't need any more out of him. Um I uh run back out of the cell. Come on, Hagen. We've got work to do. I'll follow. Yeah, we do. I'm following in their footsteps. Okay. In the I tunnel, go. uh Shanta and Avel. You see them simply as figures silhouetted in the moonlight moving up the tunnel in your direction. One of them, they're trying to be quiet, but they're not going to make a good job. I heard something. I heard something too. Voices. And that sounded like a guitar. 
guitar. It's not a guitar. <laughs> it's not a guitar. <laughs> hearing, um, a, hearing a voice. Can I get touch. can I get initiative rolls from you two, please? Just uh, d6 plus dex in roll twenty, please. Six oh, in roll twenty. Yeah. Well, you can you can just tell me the number. There's only a couple of you, so it's fine. I got a I got a six. You got a six. Um, mm -hmm. plus my dex, which I don't have two. Oh, That's it says really five bad. in roll twenty, but I got a six. Five, you got a six. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, two of them come pushing their way up the passageway, spotting you at the same time, uh, Avel, as you catch sight of them. At your side, Shanta is kind of uh, flustered and floundering about a little bit. Uh, Erdo looks like he's backing away from the fight already. Um, <laughs> oh my God, the, uh, the guys! It's like his hair is like his kind of spider sense, I think. Um, okay. As they, as they see you, Avel, yeah. they draw the swords. We're discovered. Gut these before they can spread the word, one of them says. And they rush toward you. Avel, what are you doing? Okay. Um, well, I'm going to draw my kopesh in retaliation and just stab it forwards, trying to get the nearest one coming up towards me. Okay. These guys are both AC 12 as well. Right. Okay. Uh, 14. That's a hit. Yep. Um, and six damage. Six? All right. Uh, you stab forward with your, with your Kopesh. It punches clear through the guy's breastplate, punctures something vital and soft on the inside, and he staggers backward. Blood spilling out between his uh, fingers, slumps down the side of the tunnel wall and hits the floor. Uh, his companion gives an oath and slashes at you with a short blade. He comes over your guard, and the blade strikes home. Oh. Three damage, Abel. Ah, oh, shit. Opens up a loud gash, ruining your shirt, and also uh, causing you three points of damage. Uh, Erdo backs away until he's behind you, Shanta, and shouts, do something, Shanta, do something! <laughs> <laughs> What a hero. Completely <laughs> useless. <laughs> brave Sir Robin. He looks so manly. Brave, brave Sir Robin. Yeah. Sir Robin ran away. <laughs> What's it going to be, Shanta? Well, first I'm going to wet myself. Um, I'm going to... Sensing a theme here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to see, see him get behind me and just panic a magic missile out if I can. Um, okay, that's an automatic hit and it does d4 plus one damage. That is four damage. Okay. Um, magic missile punches clear through the guy's armor, through his shoulder and out the back of his body, the wound smoking on both sides. He yells in pain, still managing to stand despite the uh, depth of the injury. Uh, okay, um, Avel, what are you doing? Okay, well, I'm going to retaliate once again and go for his neck with my Kopesh. All right, go for it. Uh, 15. Uh, six again. <laughs> After the magic missile, you only had one hit point left. Um, you solidly decapitate him, your second head of the day. The two bodies are now uh, slumped on the floor of the passageway. At the sound of ringing steel, there's um, some voices raised from further down by the river. It's not a Joker, guitar, motherfucker. what's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you staying put? Do you want to investigate the tunnel further? Um, Chanta, I think we should get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we run away. <laughs> Grave rapes Robin. Chanta is, okay. <laughs> is, is most definitely... Definitely hearing as I'll say that is just gonna peg it <laughs> back home. I, uh, yeah. I highly agree. So <laughs> from some way down the passageway ahead of you. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you race off uh, after Erdo, hearing the sound of Ray's voices coming from behind you. Burst out into the storeroom and head back up into the body of Hythorn to warn the others. Aldrich! 
<laughs> okay. Aldrich! <laughs> Aldrich Hagen Bellison Jadarian, um, having been warned by the prisoner, you come charging out of the interrogation room, um, looking for uh, for someone to warn. Uh, Targon is uh, sitting there, cleaning his fingernails with an extremely large knife. Done so quickly. <clears throat> Didn't hear any screaming at all. You a bit of gargling. Bit I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a slap. Your castle is being attacked. Wake up. Right, good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leaps to his feet and uh, heads over to a weapons rack. Um, from which he pulls an extremely large war axe. I mean, this thing is easily as big as you are, uh, uh, Bellis. Get something you can use in this tunnel. <laughs> Come on, sweetie, let's go do some damage. <laughs> I'm sure I'll um, find a way. <laughs> They're coming at that moment, tunnels. At that moment, you hear a loud bestial roaring coming from not down in the tunnels but uh somewhere on the outer gallery oh th th um, that'll, that'll be wyverns yes oh dear w what it's the wyverns targon rushes out onto the onto the gallery and shouts alarm alarm hythorn isn't known for its large component of guards there's maybe a dozen of them uh, but straight away they start racing to their uh, to their defensive positions. If you wouldn't uh, mind, Targon says, I could use a hand. So we deal with wherever this tunnel is. Uh... He looks toward the toward the galleries and uh, the outer balconies. You can almost see his mind kind of going, Wyverns tunnel, Wyverns <laughs> tunnel. Um, the two right. men that were with us, the two guards, I forget yeah. their names. Um, I would probably know their go. names. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I order them to help help defend the gallery if I spot them. Okay. I'm going to take my men to the tunnel. Either you uh, to head to the galleries or find Tasca. Yes, let's find Tasca. They didn't come for us, they came for you. They might have come for the eye as well. God, Bloody yeah. demons. Let's find, uh, you guys go for the, the, the dungeon. I'll go see whether I can find Tasca. He marches down the stairs. Guards of Hythorn on me! His guards immediately head to his, uh, to his call and they start heading down toward the lower levels. Okay, so where are you guys all going? Are you splitting up, did you say? Um, I uh, think... Jadar Jadarian, where are you going? Uh, I follow where Aldrich and that's going. Okay, Aldrich? Um, I'm going to uh, go down the tunnel. You're heading find... to the tunnel. Uh, okay, Bellis, you, did you say you were going looking for I'm going to Tasca? look for, see whether I can warn Tasca, and I have an inkling she will be in, in the vicinity of the eye where I expect trouble to be. Okay, um, Hagen. Who's off to help deal with the uh, wyverns? Anyone? No one's volunteered for that yet, funnily enough. <laughs> okay, I'll be the first one. Luck. Tito stops and like, you know what a wyvern is, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. But do you know what they are? Susceptible to archers. Ooh. Fine, I'll go with him. I appreciate it. Okay. Go there is already got an arrow knot. You split. Two of you running for for the uh, for the galleries. Uh, Aldric following the troll ball and his men down toward the tunnel, and Bellis running back up the stairs toward uh, Tasca's chamber. Um, <coughs> Avel and uh, Shanta. Yes. You come. Barreling up to the uh, the bottom of the stairs, just as Targon and his men and Alderic come thundering down them. Behind you, you can hear the sounds of booted feet hammering in the tunnel behind you. You know that whoever is invading from down there is only moments away from bursting out. 
Chanta uh, runs out of this tunnel and is screaming at the top of her voice. Yeah, same. <laughs> Aldrich, Aldrich, <laughs> stuff in the tunnel, stuff in the tunnel. <laughs> just, just Bad men in the tunnel. <laughs> Chanta, okay. you can probably smell her. That she's wet herself. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking, but okay. <laughs> nice little bit of walking. Oh, lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> she's like, yeah, he... no, not. Have an experience point for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and is just clearly a mess. It's just like this is there, <laughs> just, <laughs> just pointing and shouting there. All right. Mark, as as we're coming down the tunnel, I keep I look at um, tr the Trollborn guy, uh, and see if he's right or left-handed. He's right-handed. Okay, I go stand on the side that uh, requires uh, basically that leaves me the space to maneuver, so that where he's swinging, I am looking, not there. Looking at the tunnel, looking yes. at the tunnel, you know you're not going to be able to use the Ranser in there. Uh, you're going to have to wait for them to come out before you're able to use it. I, I, can use, be short I can use it to receive a charge, and then I'll switch to short swords. Okay, let me get an initiative roll from everybody, please. Yes. Five. And you can just, you can just roll the dice and let me know what it is. Uh, Judarian, five. Got a six on the dice. Six. six to four, do I have to re-roll? I got a six what? as well. Yeah, no four dice, no four dice. A six right. for Havel. Uh, six. Okay, wow, cool. I um, uh, I rolled a five. Okay, and Bellis? Uh, um, she rolled a six. How ironic. The, the guy with the highest eight. dexterity goes last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's it's just you're being considerate. You don't want to show them up. Mm. Oh, wait, let me clarify. Um, was I saying what number displayed on the die or what it is with the... With the, the yeah, the final adjusted number. Okay, yes, yeah, six then. Okay, cool. Okay, it's eight. Oh, Which is eight. Six. Ooh, get the pixie. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, Aldrich, uh, you step into the uh, the tunnel just to the side of uh, Targon. Uh, he thunders forward, uh, swings his battle axe at the first thing that he sees. It's just a shadow, a blur in the darkness. Um, there's a loud crunching noise and a scream, and something drops. Targon's like, ah, yes! <laughs> um, and then someone barrels past him straight, presumably toward the waiting end of your rancer. Yes. All right, here we go. Um, it's, uh... Sorry. A modified 17 to hit. And it's, uh... 30 damage. <laughs> okay. He explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you should it's triple write damage on a set charge. <laughs> write that spot down. Yeah. You just murder the guy straight up at the pointy end uh, of your stick. Okay. I push uh, I push the Ronsir down with my foot and draw my short swords. Okay. Uh, Targon looks at you. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> Uh, your short sword a, a moment later. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hagen. Jadarian. You step out onto the battlements of Highthorn and see them. There are four of them sweeping through the air. And uh, they look like this. Wow. <clears throat> oh, great. Wow. Each bears a rider. And uh, seeing you on the battlements, one of them comes streaking down towards you. The other three spiral downwards to the base of the tower where they disgorge their riders who then go rushing in through the front gate. Um, those of you in the uh, in the basement, by the way, can hear the sounds of battle breaking out on the uh, on the ground floor above you. However, the wyvern and his rider swoop. The thing br spreads its wings, draws them back, and goes into a dive. The rider leans forward in the saddle. His lance aimed for you. 
Hagen, you will get a shot off or an attack off before it reaches you. Um, right. I get a shot off. Uh, and you get a free shot because you're a specialist, yeah. aren't you? Go ahead and take a free shot first. Yes. Uh, probably a miss. Two on a dice. No, yeah, okay. <laughs> you don't have plus ten, so... Yeah, it's a, a sudden snap shot. The arrow goes... Whoosh, you don't even see where it ends up in the darkness. Hagen? All right. Yeah, Hagen's also going to take a shot at the rider, of course. Okay. Um, yeah, an eight's not going to do it. Okay. Um, the arrow seems to live it's gonna, as if it's going to fly. True. Uh, he angles his shoulder, deflects off the pauldron, and then he leans into his lance as it comes sweeping down towards you. It's not until the last minute that you get an idea of who he's going for, and it's you, Jadarian. 16. Armor class 16. No, it hits the 16. Oh, misses it. You duck under it at the last instant as the lance just straight over your head. That thing would have impaled you straight through. And then you have the wyvern's claws to worry about. It slashes twice at you as the rider flies by. One of them deals you a glancing blow. Uh, which is nevertheless four points of damage, tears you open from, uh, from knee to hip on your left-hand side. And the thing's head snaps in the other direction and takes a bite for, uh, for Hagen. Hagen, the jaws slam shut inches from your face. In slow motion as the head goes past, you can see its spittle flying out. There's a waft of hot wyvern breath across your face and then the thing is flying away circling around and coming in for another pass Bellis you go racing up the stairs toward uh, Tasker's room no guards no tieflings from down below on a couple of different floors you can hear screaming and yelling you rush into Tasker's room looking for where she is the door to the Eye of Kellax is wall again closed you can see feet on the floor sticking out from behind one of the sofas. Shanta. Yes. Do I recognize the feet? In a second. <laughs> Down in the... Uh, I'm a scholar of feet, you know. <laughs> uh, Shanta, down in the basement, what are you doing? Uh, so... Just escaped the tunnel, correct. Uh, are people coming out of the tunnel now, essentially? Uh, at the moment, they're held back by the uh, the twin explosion machines of um, of Aldric and, uh, and Targon, but they can't hold that press back for very much longer. Um, they're going to start getting stabbed very, very soon. So it's a, it's a matter of time. Am I able to cast something at them without it actually hitting my friends? Depends what it is. If it's a magic missile, yes. I'll, I'll do a magic mag, mag, magic missile. Um, so that is three damage. Um, three. Okay. Um, Aldrich, this bead of glowing energy whizzes past your ear. Uh, you see it hit something in the darkness. There's a scream, a bright tang of copper in the air, um, the sound of someone grunting, biting down on their pain. Jadarian, you get your actual shots now. Yeah, um, I literally fire two arrows like lightning. Uh, da -da, armor class 17 and 20. Those will both hit the rider, assuming it's the rider you're yeah, going both for. Of the rider, they'll, also, yeah. they'll also hit the wyvern as well. But. Uh, how close were they? Were in 30 yards? Yeah, he's literally just done a flyby. So, uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, it's 10, 18 damage. <laughs> okay. Um, he buckles sideways in his saddle, the two long elven shafts sticking out of his side, reaches up with his gauntleted hand, and snaps them off, throws them. He's still alive. And it weaves unsteadily. But and then I move. Keeps the wife and then it's turned. And then you move. Just 30 foot, 30 yards, whatever. Just, My yeah, movement okay. as well. 
Okay. Uh, right. Dennis. You rush around the uh, the side of the couch, but the I sofa. Keep, keep, uh, keep my eyes out that I'm not being ambushed there. Yeah. Okay. Um, you see her <laughs> stretched out on the floor, her face pale, blood bubbling at her lips. Tasca? It's Tasca Glimmer. Uh, uh, cast uh, the heal on her. A cure like wounds. Like wounds. Yeah. No, the, 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 sorry, the, the Orison version. Yeah, oh, okay, this, yeah, all right. Yeah. Pop it off immediately. Yeah. You can see that it's a small wound in her neck here. The injury <sighs> closes. The color does not return to her face. It's poison. In fact, it gets worse. Your healer's arts know this to be poison. Shit. A potent one. She reaches out and grabs hold of you. The eye. Who? Sight the eye. What? She points toward the wall. Mm -hmm. Of. Of. Avengeon. Avengeon. She says. And the last syllable of the word becomes a slow, dying hiss. As the venom takes her. I cast my last thought capture. Okay. I am dropping a name in your Discord. Shanta, Haven, and Avel, all at the same time. Mm. Let's go back to Avel, shall we? Yes. You okay. realize that the you, the people are about to burst out of the tunnel. There's got okay. to be a dozen or more of them backed up in there. Targon shouting, hold the line, hold the line! What do you do? Okay. Um, if I was to take out my big bastard sword that I have on my back, uh, would I be able to pierce through m more than one of them? On you're, unlikely to be able to, you're unlikely to be able to wield it properly in the tunnel. Oh no! I um, thought I was standing outside. So you're also right. So you're gonna you mean waiting for when someone comes out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not a skilled enough swordsman to take a cleave attack. Maybe at higher level. Oh, that's a bit rude. All right. Um, I'll just take my cobra <laughs> shot then. <laughs> <laughs> and I wait. wish I had a cleave attack too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you stand so. ready, kind of bouncing on the ball of your feet, waiting for them to bust out of the tunnel. Yeah, step by step, my... Tarmon and Aldrich are being forced back by the oppressive bodies in there. Uh, okay, Shanta, anything from you? I want to cry. Um, so oh. I'm going to get my. Am I able to use my staff sling without hitting any? friendlies uh yes but there is a chance you will hit a friendly there's a fighting style to make it impossible but you'll run a small chance um i'll try are they a small medium or large target uh they're all medium targets okay well i might as well just go for a magic missile then. another magic <laughs> missile okay <laughs> Blade safe that's a that's three Oh, okay. The guy you've hit once already, this fells him. Um, Hagen, meanwhile, on the battlements. The Wyvern is swoop, has swooped around now and is barreling in for a second attack. You can see the guy hunched over in his saddle. Blood is flowing down the outside of his armor, slicking it in the moonlight. 
Hagen is going to um, take a deep breath, draw back another arrow, and let it fly. Let's see. Four. Um, an eight plus three is only an 11. Ah, it's just a miss. You can shoot again yeah. with the bow. I if you're not moving, you can take a second that. shot. Yeah. Yep. If you're not moving, yeah. Taking a shot. Ah, First one whistles by his head. And then you, the second one, you find your, your mark and it strikes home. All right. Four, five damage. Nice. There's a solid <laughs> as the arrow goes right through the brow of his helmet, through skull, brain, and out the back again. He just drops like a doll in the saddle, lolling side to side as the wyvern closes in for its uh, for its attack. Jaws wide, roaring with fury. It takes a bite for the elf. Uh, Jadarian, you roll under the jaws as they slam shut. Both claws slash down as it flies over your head. Oh, that's actually the wrong guys. My armor class is 18 <laughs> at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so only one of them hits you. Ouch. Three damage. <clears throat> Clutching your remaining hit point to your chest, you bite <laughs> down upon the pain. Thank your lucky stars that you still live. Hit <laughs> point. <laughs> Aldrich. <laughs> All right. Um, like I said, I dropped my. Actually, no. I'm going to. And I can't do that. No. I'm going to, like I said, <laughs> drop my drop my roster and uh, drew my short swords last turn. And I'm just going to lay into the guys in front of me. Okay. Using using the 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 confines of the corridor to my advantage, I will uh, uh, use the short blades in. Uh, Quick succession. All right. Um, the first hit, is, sorry, first attack is a. What is it? 18 to hit, modified, with a five damage. The second. That kills one. Is a modified 22 and does seven damage. All right. Um,. It's just brutal stabbing and thrusting in the dark confines of the corridor as you're barely able to see what's going on, but you feel the blades uh, sink through flesh, great against bone. You hear the death gasps of the men in front of you, know you have felled two, but you know that four more are taking their place even as you speak. To remain okay, here is to meet your end. Hold on. I'm going to uh, one, use my movement. One hit or... against you. Can I use my movement of the round to base, uh, start making a tactical retreat? Yes, uh, you take a single point of damage as you do so, as, as one uh, blade lashes out and just kind of just catches you across your chin. Okay. Yeah, not into single figures yet, never mind. I, I'll get you for that. <laughs> Judarian. I look to Hagen. Aim for the wings. Um, I'll move 30 foot to cover. Is there any cover I can get? Yeah, there's battlements and maculations and crenellations too. Would it give me any bonus to armor class or anything? Yeah, they'll give you a plus four to armor class. Cool, I'll, I'll go to there um, and then I'll try and sh cold shot shoot one of the wings like in the joint. Okay. Is that possible? Yeah, armor class 19 to hit. You can do it. Well, I rolled a 19, so... No! <laughs> oh, nice one. Okay. Give me damage. Um, that would be eight damage. If he's within Fuck, 30 sweet. feet. Sweet. Yes. He's, he's okay. Feet. A beautiful shot. Just nicks the edge of the tendon. You actually see the tendon snap on the thing's wing. The wing crumples up, and the wide one flap, and the other one wildly goes spiraling down to sprawl on the ground outside um, Highthorn. I only file one arrow. Can't fly. Oh, yeah, can't, uh, yeah. No, no, I can, I can fire and move two. I can fire two and move. Um, oh, you got the thing. Yeah. Okay. Good. I can't cast a spell though, can I? So. No. 
and he's hit the deck now, and we're up high, yeah, so he can't actually get he's us. Like, yeah. I'll try and shoot exactly. again. Then. Well, oh. You're like four stories above. Guess what? You like leap up onto the battlements and yeah. fire down. Okay. No, that would be a fumble. That would be a one on a dice. Okay, you fall to your death. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said not. <laughs> Bellis. Um, I see, I check uh, the wall. Is there any uh, opening mechanism that I can see? What you saw her do before was lean her head against it and breathe a word. Ah. <laughs> uh. Did I catch the word? Did you hear her say anything? No. Okay. Um, you can uh, make me a uh, an intelligence check. Okay. You roll me I, a d20 I, as high as you like, but no higher than your intelligence. Like blackjack. 11. 11. Great. She did say something before she died, you know, Carl. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I walk uh, towards the door and I s softly breathe. Avenge on. The wall becomes as gas, billowing and rippling, and the small chamber that holds the eye of Kalax opens before you. I make sure there's nobody behind me when I do this. There isn't. <laughs> and I walk in? Yeah. Is it there? Lying. Shedding silver into the pool, the Eye of Kalax awaits. Okay. Um, I fish it out with something else, not touching it and putting it in a, in a baggie. Okay. You scoop it out with um, your uh, traveling spoon mm -hmm. and stow it away in your, uh, in your backpack. Yeah. Okay. Well, not in my backpack, on my, on my, on my person. I don't, want to, I don't want it to, to be uh, pilfered. <clears throat> and I make myself okay. uh, uh, my way quickly back to uh, uh, the others. Okay. Um, down in the basement, uh, you see Aval, you see um, Aldric and Targon forced out of the tunnel. Targon is sporting a number of wounds. Uh, Aldric's got one across his chin, and then half a dozen men, like like a, like a cork out of a champagne bottle, burst out of the tunnel into the basement. They're shouting and yelling from behind them. You think a dozen more are just waiting to spill into the lower reaches. Uh, Targon shouts to, to you and, uh, and his own men who were desperately trying to hold the line. Back, back up, we can't hold them down here. Avel, what are you okay. doing? Um, are they, are the bad guys coming out of the tunnel yet, or is Yeah, they've, just... they've literally burst out of the tunnel like uh, champagne out of a, out of a bottle. Okay, um, so I'm gonna sort of rush forward with my copesh and try to get the closest one as hard as I can. Okay. Okay. Oh, one, so I did not. <laughs> One, okay, right. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, you flail for them, but the press of body sends you staggering backwards. Uh, it's all you can do to keep your grip on your blade. Uh, you know okay. that you're seconds away from being overwhelmed. Um, Shanta. I am going to... I'll... 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 <laughs> is, there, is there one that is clearly like larger than the others no there are a mismatched all... uh, collection of sizes all dressed in what you recognize now as uh house mardoth clothes um but there's easily a dozen of them spilling out into the lower chamber the ones that have come into the lower <laughs> chamber i will attack with my quarter staff if i can okay so i roll Shall... Do I roll to hit? Is it a d20? Yeah, it's d20 to hit. And what's the armor? Seeing a, the armor class with these guys is 12. Um, seeing the two of you take your positions at his side, uh, Targon shouts, So! We stand and die together here then, is it? So be it! Um, what did you get? I don't want to die! Um, so I hit for two damage. Oh. 
do that. Okay, you bop one across the side of the head with the uh, with your quarter staff. He's like, "Ow!" <laughs> what are you doing, um, Hagen? Up on the battlements. Just uh, trying to help. I'm sorry. <laughs> the wyvern is uh, is is grounded. You and Jadarian are momentarily at least out of trouble, but you can hear fighting spreading. Well, I say fighting. It's more like a massacre. There's the occasional burst and blast of spell fire as the uh, the tieflings hold off against their opponents, but there's only maybe a dozen people in the entire Kalian circle. There's many times more that are swarming the place now. Are there any more wyverns we have to worry about, or are they elsewhere? There's none uh, up where you are. Um, there were four of them in total that you saw. You downed one. Two of them uh, went down low, disgorged their riders into the castle. They've currently flown off. Um, there's another circling high overhead. Hmm. What? You... <clears throat> he turns to... Uh... Um... He turns to his uh, companion. What do you think, back into the castle? Yes, I believe so. By the way, what was your name again? It's, it's Jadarian. Jadarian? No. no. Jadarian. <laughs> I said. <laughs> he just shakes his head. Uh, Hagen Quell. Thought we might at least know each other's names if we're going to die together. Nice. Is it my go yet, or...? Okay, whereabouts in the castle are you heading to? Well, we want to go back up the others, I'm assuming. Okay, so, um... They're on the, uh, on the lower level, then. But can I cast a spell Right down the go? bottom. Yeah, what is it? Well, it's not even a spell. Um... Hagen probably hears, um... Annie, it says, uh, Ani Alasta, Ava Lafan Hunien, En Wanyati, and do white glow from his hands um i heal myself oh three hit points nice let's go it's not every day you hear quenya <laughs> <laughs> yes okay, so to... mighty four a mighty four <laughs> which means <laughs> that's, that's half, my, <laughs> half my health yeah we obviously we run and go and help Okay, um, uh, Bettis, what are you doing? Um, Sorry, wait, uh, I've skipped you, Aldric. I've sk Al no, I've skipped Aldric. Uh, I felt really left out there. Um, yeah. um, I uh, pick up my Ronser, seeing as I have movement uh, space again with all these, with, now that they're all in the room. Yeah. Um, I'll just drop my short sword because I don't have time to do anything with that. Um, and I will attack yeah. them because I have to. Okay. Right. Um, do I get two attacks this round or three? Uh, two. Okay. You the broke first... the flow with the short swords, so. Yeah. The first uh, attack is a modified 12. Is that a hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, then I do 12 damage. The second attack okay. is a one, unfortunately, which, which is modified to okay. is modified to a four, which is nothing. Yeah, I you miss. cut the guy almost clean in half with your rancer, and when you swing around to take him with the uh, the half strike, of course his body's fallen to the floor, and uh, yeah. You yes, that, that that that's why I, and he fell. He fell. Because Everybody saw that. Dead. He yeah. fell. It's not your. It's, <laughs> it's not my skill. <laughs> I slipped okay. on a bit of blood. Um, right. So, given that you've all chosen to stand and fight the uh, warriors who've swarmed out of the tunnel, start to move around you in a pincer movement, stabbing and thrusting with their blades. Just a minute, I'm going to try and murder the other guys first. Okay. <laughs> Just give me a second. Aldrich, uh, you parry one blow, uh, dodge another. Uh, Shanta, a single sword blow, slashes high across uh, your shoulder, just opens it almost to the bone. Uh, you take 
two points of damage, putting you only on three hit points. Uh, Avel, a six and a nine, both miss you. Targon is hit twice, doesn't even seem to notice the fact that he's got a short sword sticking out of his side while he continues chewing about himself with his battle axe. This is a great way to die, he shouts. <laughs> One of his men goes, sorry, two of his men go down. How many men did Gardening he have? their last on the floor. He brought uh, eight down here, so there's only okay. six of them left next to you. You guys are outnumbered two to one at the moment. And okay. uh, that odds is I like those odds. in their favor. Yeah, you like those odds, do you? Right. I don't uh, like those odds. <laughs> okay. Uh, odds. Bellis. Do I run in on this team? Uh, as you come bursting out of... Uh, Tasker's chambers on the middle of the floor, you in fact run into Jadarian and Hagen, who are running down from the battlements. Um, Jadarian's covered in quite a lot of blood, actually. <clears throat> Tasker's dead. We need to go to the, the, to the, the others and, and get, get, our, get ourselves into the basement. Run. We are. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is what we were doing. <laughs> you want me to pronounce your name? Okay, um, you go charging down the gallery toward the uh, the main entrance hall. Uh, there you can see at least three or four tiefling bodies strewn, two in the hallway, one on the stairs, uh, another in a vast pool of blood on the main entrance hall. The two uh, wyvern riders who were disgorged and uh, a couple of their guardsmen spot you making your way down the hall, and the two riders draw long blades and come charging up the stairs towards you. Um, in the basement, uh, Shanta and Avel. Yes. Targon's not, uh, not speaking in poetry. This will be a fight to the death if you stay here. But it is a great way to die. <laughs> sure, I suppose. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think you first. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I, I think Chanta at this point would know Targon and that he, he was being serious and would probably, I think her first thought would be, right, I need to get the, my, my people out of here. So she's going to probably go sadly looking for Tasker. <laughs> okay. And she'll tell, Avel, her, are you... tell Avel to kind of come with her, her friend. Yeah, that, yeah, you know what? That sounds like a good idea. Um, I shall yeah. heroically escort you. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I shall heroically follow you. <laughs> be a good time. Okay. So the two of you disengage. Yes. Yes. All right. We're like, okay, you guys have got it. We'll uh, holding my. Yeah. <laughs> you got this. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, a couple of the guards try to take attack stabs at you as you uh, as you pull yourselves out of the battle. Uh, one rolls a nine. More one rolls a one actually. So um, that's good. Perfect. Uh, at your side, Alric, yeah, you spot your brother and uh, the tiefling getting the hell away from the battle. Uh, Targon either doesn't notice or doesn't care. Uh, that's Shanta of El Hagen. Uh, as I said, these wyvern riders have drawn their long blades. They're wearing some kind of plate, um, and they're charging up the stairs towards you. Behind them, you see um, the four guards who are with them are, in fact, unlimbering their bows and knocking arrows. Um... Maybe we turn back up the stairs. <clears throat> <laughs> nope. <laughs> it looks to Hagen. Afraid we can't afford to retreat here. Do you think you can take them? <clears throat> okay. I uh, shout a spell and cast a spell down uh, in the in the in the general direction. Okay. What is it? Color spray. Nice. That okay. is what I am talking about. <laughs> right, uh, the two guards at the uh, the two rival riders at the front, the colors wash over them 
has no effect whatsoever. But the four guards behind, one, two, three, four, fall about the place, eyes blistering with color. One collapses to his knees. The other one kind of stumbles back like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> totally radical. Four of them, momentarily at least, uh, incapacitated by the color spray. Uh, okay, anything from you, Hagen? These two are yours. Yes. Hagen's going to draw they're, his short sword. High level. Yeah. Hagen's going to draw a short sword. He'll say, uh, J. Darian, I, I trust you to, t to uh, outshoot those archers. And then he charges at one of the... Um... Before he does that, before he runs off, do I get my action? Have you got a bow, an arrow knocked? Mm, well, I would have always have an arrow knocked. So, yeah. Yeah, you're on a, you're on, no, you're on a five. Hagen's at one point ahead of you. Okay. All right. That... So I'm going to charge at one of those guys with his uh, long blade. With his long sword. Okay, yeah. go for it. He's armor class right. 15. Like a steel breastplate. All right, what's what's the color spray done to him? He's uh... uh the two guards, the the, the two um, warriors at the front in play with the long swords are unaffected. They're too high level. Oh. The four bowmen right. behind are, are lost in hallucinatory fugues at the moment. Okay, just gonna hope I can hit him then. Right. You know, which is not that bad, really. It's twelve. <laughs> twelve. Okay. Um, your blade rings out, clang, echoing off his breastplate. He kind of grins at you, bring a bigger sword next time, and swings hard with his longsword. 12, the armor class is only 13, that's a hit. Three points of damage right out there. Uh, heavy slash across your midriff. You can feel pain wash through you, blood floods down across your groin. Um, you hear the sound of, it sounds like Shanter and Abel kind of uh, getting louder <laughs> as they come running up from the, uh, from the lower level. Um, Judarian. Are they Abel like, the these guys are on the stairs, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. They're running up the stairs towards you. Are they? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, the one that's just hit, uh, Hagen, I, um, again, start speaking in Quenya and it says, Hale is Alienia. And it says Alta Lioma, and then just, just sprinkles of, looks like um, moisture, and then it builds up to a thick grease all down the stairs and where he's standing. Oh. And, just, right. and you see me, and you see me smile. Uh, yeah, both him and the guy next to him lose their footing, slipping on the grease almost comically. Um, one of them flies backward, rolls end over end over end. The other one kind of goes down, bam, 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 on his backside. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, in the uh, basement, Aldric, um, you and Targon and his uh, four remaining guards face the swelling ranks of the, the Mardoth insurgents. How many of them are there? This... Now, this round, there's now 18 of them. 18? Good yeah, lord. Yeah, they're coming, coming through at a half a dozen okay, rounds. I, I tap Targon on the shoulder and say, retreat. And using my, uh, keeping my um, runcer in, 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 in front of me, basically, I back out of the room yep. um, in a tactical retreat. So not, I'm not just fleeing. Uh, do I get, can I attack once and move? Yeah, attack once and move, yes. Yes. Okay, I, I go for who I perceive to be their biggest, their their leader, if I can see him. Okay, there's a lieutenant who you can take a, take a swing at. Okay, I'm going to loot, go for the lieutenant. That's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, does that do, so you do maximum damage? Oh, oh, yeah, immediate, immediate, yeah, automatic max damage. Brutal, and, eviscerating slash with the Rensor, and then you back rapidly away at a tactical speed from the battle. Okay. Uh, uh, and I urge... over, yeah, he looks over his shoulder at you, starts swinging his battle axe around, uh, says, Yeah, come to me! Daddy wants to give you a kiss! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and that's... Uh, uh, for that moment, at least, the last sight you have of him as you back out of the chamber and follow Shanta and Avad up the stairs. His roaring fills your ears, surrounded by the screams and yells of his opponents. Is there a door in the... the, the, the or is there anything kind of that I could use to barricade the, the, the passageway I just went through? 
in the event uh, that he dies? No, Tarwin is currently acting as the only barricade. Okay, well, I run up the stairs then. Okay, um, Shanta and Avel, they're slightly ahead of you. The three of you come spilling out into the main hall where you see um, four men apparently lying on the floor, just kind of rolling about the place, staring at the ceiling. <laughs> One's looking at his hands. Uh, two warriors in plate, breastplates with long swords pulling themselves to their feet. Uh, their bodies are covered in what looks like chicken grease. Um, and then standing halfway yeah, we... up the stairs are uh, your companions. Okay. Uh... You have a moment to catch your breath while your enemies are incapacitated. Call out. Right. Be careful of the stairs. Yeah, I was yeah, going to oh, say, no, I noticed. Wait the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how, many, how many of them are there still? Okay, there are four, inc four sort of unconscious or right. hallucinating from the color spray spell, and there are okay. two who have pulled themselves to their feet. Um, right. Warriors in plate armor with swords. Okay. Can, can well, I shout something at her? Uh, yeah, new round, new round initiative, uh, you're first, Bellis. <clears throat> I shout uh, at our, our new arrival, cut the bowman's strings. Who, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, where's the bowman? Where is he at? Oh, bowman's. They're the four. Uh, <laughs> the oh, four in the all of them on the floor. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Yeah. Right, I'll get, okay. out my, uh, get out I my like, dagger. And I like the idea them. of you mistaking him and cutting Judarian street. <laughs> 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 Judarian, come here. No, 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 no. And, and and I, says so, so. And I, I, I try to wake, make my make down the stairs past the grease over the banister. To get past yeah. the two uh, fallen guards. Okay, right. Um, you do that carefully, avoiding the grease. Uh, Avel, you go around, snip, 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 snip. Cut the bow. Oh, with scissors. Uh, I don't have scissors. That's what knives sound like. Then... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sh Shanta. Uh, I'm gonna try and gracefully make my way past the grease, um, and then head to <laughs> Tasker's room. I'm just gonna go just turn to the guys as as I kind of run past I'll kind of like zone back in, turn around and look at everyone, just like, we need to leave or we will probably die here. And as guests, I don't think it's very good for, for me to let so allow me to die here. So glad we should Where are you going, girl? Uh, I need to go find Tasca and warn her if She's she doesn't dead. already know. What? She's dead. Good. But you're correct, <laughs> it's time to leave. She's not dead. What about that eye thing? Does anyone get she, that? She can't oh, die. the demon eye? No. It was gone. Chance is just gonna shake her head and just be like, no, and, and just head towards Tasker's room. I'll grab her arm. No. She's oh, dead. She was poisoned. There'll be time to mourn later, girl. She can't be dead. She's too strong. She's not dead. She was poisoned. She, she, She's probably oh, sleeping. Oh. She's no. not dead. Everyone dies. Come on. We have to leave now. She's not dead. <clears throat> she's not. She's... she's she's gone. Where's the best way out of here, girl? And the mother will lead her out and lead her to safety. And we will remember her. Now let's go. There is one way out. Unless you want to go back down through the river tunnel. No. <laughs> and that's across the bridge. Is that back down the stairs or? It's actually, you're on the, yeah, you, you've come in, the, the large stairs have led you to the, uh, to the main entrance hall. So it's actually out the gate, out the main, uh, the main doors, and then, uh, and then across the bridge as shown in the picture. How close is Chanta to Tasker's room? Like how, uh, how close? You could get you could get there in a round if you wanted to spend your round doing nothing but running to her room. But then you'll have to make your way past the swordman again downstairs. Uh, yes, no, wait, no, no, you drop them, aren't you? Okay. Um, speaking of the swordsman, they've recovered themselves, and now they. Hurl themselves at what they perceive to be the greatest threat in the group, oh, or perhaps just, perhaps just the uh, 
the one for whom they have uh, the greatest dislike. That's Aldric, of course. He who wears the colours of Valandor. Go ahead, take a fr take your uh, your free oh. shot. Glad I'm not Eighteen those. on a dice, so that'll be a hit. Oh, good hit. Oh, not bad. Uh, nearly maximum damage. That's eight plus five. Thirteen. Yeah. Okay, it's a solid, thudding blow, and it's enough to distract one of them. And he kind of turns to face you and looks along the stairway. He goes running up the side where the grease hasn't uh, hasn't spread and closes the gap with you, within taking them two and three steps at the same time. Um, Aldric, the swordsman, throws himself at you, blade high. Murder! He shouts. Strikes, hits once only, but it's for five damage. Okay. Judarian, uh, the swordsman reaches the uh, your position on the stairs, tries to roll under your guard and stab at you with his blade. That's two hits. Ooh, bloody hell. Ten damage. Oh, I go down. Jadarian falls, bleeding copiously onto the stairs, mingling with the grease that's already there. Okay, uh, you've had your round of uh, conversation. Now we go back into uh, into combat order. Bellis. <clears throat> um, I um, run for J Jadarian, if I can. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, give him an Orison heal. Okay, that'll stabilize him, but it won't wake him up. He's a negative. He's at negative six hit points. I can only do one uh, round, right? Only one around, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Happy. Judarian's bleeding stops, but he uh, does not regain consciousness. Injured near death. Okay, uh, Shanta. Uh, seeing while she's having this conversation and he's just essentially just stopped her and then died kind of pretty well fallen yeah uh, she kind of snaps out and just instantly goes over with Bellis and will attempt to try and like see if she can drag him up the stairs or just try and move him further away okay um dragging him up the stairs of course takes him deeper into the uh, into the fortress well I want to you guys say, are planning I want to pull him. No, just use the grease, and we'll just slide off the stairs past all these guys. I want to get him. I want to go towards the bridge, essentially. Okay, so that yeah, that's down the stairs and out the down, main gate. That's down. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, okay, um, so you grab hold of him, and uh, using the added lubrication of uh, Bellis's grease, she serves me down and, the stairs. And your tears, <laughs> she does not my, serve you. My, we, we ride the elf. <laughs> <laughs> Legolas in Lord of the Rings the and his shield. Uh, the urine and the tears will glide him down the stairs. <laughs> okay, it's a very, uh, it's a very fluid escape. I see, um, I see, art, I see artwork here. This is the class, class of dead elf sliding down the stairs with a with a tiefling and a moon white um, riding it. Don't ever want to see artwork like that. Hagen, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna it can make... be arranged. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, Oh, we're just trying to get the hell out of here, right? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, Hagen's just going to book it. I mean, he. Well, uh, how's Jadarian looking? Jadarian looks looks dead. Shit. Uh, uh, just just by looking at him, he looks dead. Hagen is going to try and help carry him, though, just in case. Okay. He has okay. So um, you give uh, Shanter a hand, and the pair of you go kind of. Trundling with the elf between you toward uh, toward the main entrance. Yeah. Um, okay, you break out into moonlight, and then you hear the double hiss. And remember, God, that's where that wyvern was that we that we grounded. <laughs> it kind of rears itself up onto its two legs and opens its jaws with a great blast of heated breath. I look uh, back at Hagen. You didn't deal with them? <laughs> <laughs> didn't think okay. I would need to. Uh, Avril. Yeah, um, so I'm still at the top of the stairs, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's going on at the top of the stairs again? 
just to refresh. Okay, um, there's there's a guy right next to you who's just felled uh, Jadarian, uh, and he's kind of like turning <laughs> to look at you with. Uh... <laughs> okay. Nice hat. Um, thanks, and I'm gonna go for him with my kopesh again. Whoa. Okay. Uh, where's my thirteen? Um. You got any pluses for know? that? Uh, what to hit? Yeah. Uh, plus one. So that's a fourteen. That misses him by one Actually, point. No, These no, guys no. are at fifteen. Two, two hit for the kopesh. Yeah. Sword. Oh, it's a plus two then. So that's a hit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. Right. Okay. That's, that's exactly what you need. Do damage. Okay. Um, I got uh six. Six. Okay. Uh, it's a solid blow that ricochets mostly off his armor. You can see where the edge of the kopesh nicks his flesh and a small amount of blood begins to flow. He looks down. <coughs> no. Huh, yes. And uh, then lashes out at you with his, uh, his blade. Strikes once high, strikes another blow low. A three and a five. You dodge between the, the two swords. Stand still, damn you! He snaps. <laughs> uh, uh, no. Okay, Jadarian's down. Aldrich. Okay, uh, do I get my three attacks this round? You get three attacks this round, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, the guy that just stabbed at me, I'm going to stab at him. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that is a modified 20. Um, yep. And the damage is 14 on the first hit. That kills him. Oh. You yeah. only had seven hit points after being hit with, uh, with then Jadarian's Then I spin around arrow. and go for the other knight, whatever his name, or the other armored figure that was running up the stairs. The guy up the stairs who's, who's busy trying to stab your brother. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I rolled a... He's, he's, uh, he's, I, I promise this is true. I rolled another 20. That's completely fine. <laughs> <laughs> and that should be max damage, which is another 14. He had exactly 14 left after about six. Um, so yeah, you kind of vault up the stairs and blah, running through from behind uh, with uh, with your ranser. And then the, I have uh, one attack the guy, left. The, there's, the only people still in the chamber are, are still uh, lying around on the ground for at least another two or three rounds from, uh, the, uh, the, from the, color, the color spray spell. For the moment, at least, the route to the exit is clear. Okay. I am going to throw my Ranser through one of the men on the floor, like a like okay. a rolled spear. I promise you, I'm not even joking. It's another twenty. Another twenty. <laughs> All right, nice. Well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. With, his, I, with his massive, with his massive five hit points, he's just like. I, I, I don't know oh why I felt the need to film that, but <laughs> <laughs> properly ruined his day. Uh, okay, um, Bellis, you and Hagen emerge, as I say, out onto the small garden area in front of Highthorn, where uh, a downed wyvern waits for you. What do you do? You're muted. Yeah. So you know, just so you know, you are muted. Uh, yeah. Oh, there he goes. The, <clears throat> these creatures are uh, uh, intelligent, right? Semi-intelligent. Yeah, they got about intelligence six or seven. Good. Well, <clears throat> I. <laughs> that can't be good. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> uh, I advance upon it, <clears throat> and uh, with my smothered concealment, <clears throat> I cast a spook spell. And say, All right. look behind you, there's a dragon coming to eat you. <laughs> okay, it's a saving throw, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a 12, that's borderline, that's borderline. Okay. Um, Major four hit dice, though. <laughs> no, for four hit dice, so that's a fail. Uh, okay, so the thing rears its head up and looks wildly around, and then with its good remaining wing, buries his head beneath its wing. Yeah. It'll only last for a moment. Run? But maybe a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Okay. Maybe moment, like, <laughs> uh, With the uh, elf, yeah, you holding uh, 
I guess the legs, Hagen holding the other half. The pair of you like, yeah. <laughs> go hurrying <laughs> past the momentarily distracted Wyvern. Okay. Uh, um, Thales, but my, fu- my future rounds will be uh, pr- putting healing orisons in Jade, uh, Jade area. Actually, I will ask, if it's not, if it can't see us, is there any chance I could go back and attempt to backstab mm-hmm. on it? Yeah. All right. Hold the hold the elf. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Chanto will just so be like, all right. <laughs> all right. Oh. Uh, okay. Treat it as armor class ten. Okay, that is exactly a ten with the plus three. Perfect. Yeah, sure. Nice. So double right. damage. Oh wait, no, that's not exactly a ten. That's actually um another four i forgot because the backstab yeah backstab plus four um, yeah. can i actually is risky can i actually try and assassinate it an assassination attempt oh okay oh. yeah i'm gonna go, go for, for it. it okay what's that a d100 that's a percentage dice yes you can do it i believe it's like a Come on. 53. 53. Ah, no, no. Uh, he's considerably oh. higher level than you, so that's going to be at least higher than 50%. So, it nevertheless is treated as a backstab. All right. The assassination oh, fails, and, and only by a few percent, but yeah, nevertheless do backstab damage. Okay. That is five, uh, five normally, and then that... What does that add for the backstab? So 10. So right. it gets doubled to 10, and then you add whatever strength and bonuses, other bonus, or dexterity bonuses are on that. So I think okay. that's a 13 for you, isn't it? Yes. No, not bad. Wow. Holy Pretty shit. good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just kind of step in, ram the blade up to its hilt in the wyvern side. It throws its head back, gives a horrendous, peeling roar. Okay, nice. Um, Shanta. Um, I'm currently holding. <laughs> you're going to carry the other end of the arc. Uh, okay. Uh, Avel? Uh, <laughs> oh, um, am I still fighting that guy or is he dead? No, no, no. no. He's, um, your, your brother killed him for you. So there's a, oh, a clear run to the exit path. Apparently upset Wyvern. <laughs> okay. Um, the Wyvern can't see me, right? Uh, at the moment, it has other concerns. <laughs> right. Can I just like go up to it, see what happens, just kind of st- take a stab at it, you know? Can I, can I use my, um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> can I use my bastard sword, the big one? Yeah. You know, like, yeah, whoa. yeah, with both hands, nice. that's 2d8 yeah, damage if you hit. I, I know, it's written on my character sheet. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, can, let's can see. Can I uh, take my action as my character to cry, though, please? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, what's, what's the um, armor class on this? I'm a class on the Wyvern is 10 at the moment. Okay. Uh, 19. No. <laughs> um, so it's what? What to hit? D- 2d12? Uh, 2d8. 2d8. I thought you knew. Shush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 plus 1, so 12. Okay, um, with the backstab and your mighty hack with the bastard sword, uh, that is a brutal amount of damage that the wyvern has suffered. You can see it's not long for this world. It's kind of lifting its head out from underneath its wing, looking around in fear and confusion, uh, huddling away from this imaginary terror that Bellis has placed into its heart, into its heart. Um, eyes drooping sadly <laughs> as it looks around. Don't make me cry. Flurry of attack. You can't even cry for the wyvern. It'll eat you. It's a wyvern. I cried at Dragonheart, okay? Like, I will cry. Okay. Um, so that leaves us with uh, Aldric. Um, I retrieve my my Ranser from the corpse on the stairs and finish off his... As you walk. Yeah, finish off his companions. Nice. Okay, there's only three of them left. It's just three swift stabs, and they're down. 
Okay. Do I need to roll or is that? No, 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 no. Okay. You won't subject them to that indignity. Uh, <laughs> okay, out on the out on the bridge, uh, Bellis. Or Orison's on Jadarian. Okay. Jadarian? Mm-hmm. You slowly come to your senses. Binding and healing magics poured into you. You've got a single hit point. Spend it wisely. <laughs> um, okay, so... Uh, as it stands, Bellis, Shanta, and Jadarian have all made it out and onto the bridge, okay? Um, Hagen and Avel are standing by the nearly dead Wyvern, mm -hmm. and Aldric is still inside the, uh, inside the fortress. Bellis, it's at that point you spot what Jadarian and Hagen noticed earlier on, a single wyvern has been circling overhead, keeping an eye on proceedings below. And the only warning you have is the thunder-like crack of its wings as it breaks into a slow glide, speeding up, wings folding behind it as it swoops down to intercept you. From its perspective, a handful of tiny figures running across the bridge far down below. Okay. You can make a complete break for it and reach the other side if you want, or you can stick around and try something. Your call. I mean, I want to get off this bridge. Yeah, let's let's try and get off the bridge. I don't know about you. <laughs> let's let's run and get off the bridge. Yeah, let's. Okay, so um, um, Bellis, you're gonna yeah. you're gonna make a make a run for it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a run for it. Okay. All right, well, you hit your priestess robes up around your tiny little knees mm -hmm. and uh, run as uh, fast as your legs will carry you. Um, now me just okay. getting too dairy. Like, I, 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 I make a calculated guess. <laughs> Am I going to be able to make that or not? Or do I really need to do something? You will. You'll make it. Okay. And uh, Jadarian and Shanta will too if they go right away. Yeah. Wait, am I on the bridge as well? I am, all right? You're, you're, no, you're back with the Wyvern. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. With um, if, how... if you were... Uh, is it showing the picture here? Hold on, let me just quickly check for you. <clears throat> yeah, it is. If you look at the picture, yeah, on roll twenty, mm -hmm. okay, you're standing where the trees are on the castle side of the bridge. Oh, okay. I thought the I others were right, were, half, were halfway across the bridge, and they've made their way uh, over on the far side of it now. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, okay. How close is the wyvern? Uh, the wyvern is uh, at about a hundred feet and closing. Is it dive bombing us? Yeah, it's coming yeah. in as fast as it can. The lancer leaning over <laughs> with his lance at the ready. Yeah, if it's over a hundred, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold. You're gonna, you're gonna make a run for it as well. Try and help him run across this bridge. Is is there a point where he needs to pull up or not? Uh, no, he's probably going to sweep low and fast across the top of the bridge, and uh, the rider's almost certainly going to try and spear somebody with his lance for double damage right. as he goes. So that he needs to go really close over the bridge? He is absolutely going to have to go within striking distance of the bridge, yeah. Okay, um, um, and so and who, is he targeting somebody? We have already you can't tell. You can't tell at this distance and speed. Okay. How, how far is the bridge? Uh, the, the, how long is the bridge? Uh, the bridge is 200 feet long, so it's a full oh. move for you to get across. How much is the yard? Sorry, I'm... I oh, in yards? Uh, okay, so like <laughs> about three. 60 yards. <laughs> Perfect, good. I, I wait for them to uh, to try and get to the, the center of that bridge, and the moment he tries to make the swoop at the center of the bridge, I cast a light spell on the eyes of the wyvern. So you're not running? Uh, I'm, I have a move, right? Yeah, but it's a, it's, it'll take your full move to get across the other side. Okay, oh, then, never mind. I'll, I'll get but, I'll get across the other side. I'm not going to wait for it to crash into me. Okay, right. <laughs> okay, cool. uh, okay. Uh, Shanta, likewise, you said you were going for it? Um, if, At a run? Or did if, I mishear you? If he's, if he's coming down towards the bridge, and I know people are behind me, I'll tell Jodarian to run, and I will try and... Is there anything I can kind of get behind his cover? Well, as you can see from the picture, the wall, the bridge has walls on, but they're like a foot or so high. So, I mean, if you if you crouch down really small, it will count as cover, yeah. Oh, I will, like, essentially lay down, but I'm prepared to <laughs> <Okay. laughs> right. prepare, um, sleep, if I can, to cast when the wyvern is close enough. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, and Jadarian. Jadarian looks, he should have run. Picks himself up, pulls two flight arrows, tears at them and just shoots, aiming for the wings. Again, exactly the same place. He okay, a, he said a nice. hundred foot, yeah, so I don't get an increment. No. This is risky. Bro. <laughs> at the same time, by the way, Shanta, your sleep spell goes off. Uh-huh. And you learn in that moment that both Ryder and Wyvern are too high level for it to affect either of them. Damn it. Oh. And then you, you are bo- both of you looking at 40 foot of Wyvern. L- large and live, widescreen, filling your vision. Oh, Coming close. Roll yeah. Jadarian. Roll Jadarian. Come on. Good luck. <laughs> well, one's a crit. One's a 20. I don't know if you can see that. Woohoo! And one's a 14. So the 14, I'm taking their minus four anyway. Yeah. Um, with a minus four would still be. So that's plus six. That's 20. So it's 20. So it would be 16 on the wing. 16. How far am I. When, when I'm hitting it, how close is it? When you're hitting it, yeah. He's within. Uh, within Still within medium range. Right, the okay, twenty, so. the the twenty, the twenty is a hit. The other one's a miss. Right. Yeah. Okay. So just by a couple, the just twenty by a point. on the wing. So that's triple damage, I believe. You say it's maximum damage for it's, a crit. It's max damage. It's automatic max damage. So a treat is if you'd rolled an eight and then apply your. Oh well, no, because they're uh, flight arrows. They're d sixes. So. Oh, they're flights, not sheaths. Six, okay. So six. Okay. 18, 18, 27. 27 to the. His wing. Does it do anything to its wing? Uh, that's going to completely sever the tendons in his wing. Does it look like it's going to crash into the bridge? <laughs> it crashes, yeah. He crashes right into the bridge. I've still got a movement. Blam! I've still got the, a movement. Uh, the, rider, the rider is catapulted from his saddle, is rolling onto the bridge, sprawls, manages to get to his feet. Uh, the wyvern has taken a considerable amount of impact damage from the... Uh, from the hit and is currently sprawled, dazed. Uh, the rider is on his feet, blade out already. And you want to use a move as well? Yeah. I grab. You sure uh, you do, do. Yeah, go on. I grab Chantra and. Chanta. Chanta. <laughs> Time to go. And I just jump up to the edge, holding her hand. Trust me. And then pull her up and so we can jump off the bridge. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Um I'm gonna give brief cam- a pass, please. <laughs> brief brief camera shot from below, looking up at both of you, the wind kind of blowing, the sky vast and open, and then down at the almost lightless depths of the uh of the High Thorn River down below. Does she follow? I'm holding her hand, so Are you trying to pull me off of a cliff? Yeah, I'm holding your hand. Well I'm holding your hand, like, trust me. Do you jump? Wait, you're jumping off the bridge? Well, we're, we're, we're blocked off now by... Oh, mind you, which side are we from him? You're blocked, yeah, you're blocked off by him. He was coming down yeah. towards you. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. What are you doing? I... Uh, well, Aldrich still got to fight him, so no, I, I, we run back towards the uh, thing then, I'm assuming. Oh. Okay. Well, I was okay. going to uh, jump, Aldrich. I don't know what I left up. <laughs> Aldrick, you um, you come barreling out of Highthorn uh, to mm-hmm. see one nearly dead wyvern next to you. Um, Avel and uh, Hagen right kind of by it. It's blood on their blades. And up ahead of you, it looks like uh, Judarian has brought another one down and is trying to decide whether or not to jump off the bridge. <laughs> okay, Wait, so there's two um, wyverns. Yeah, they've both been yeah. down, though. Uh, Avel and Hagen, what do you do as uh, Aldric comes running out? Wait, I don't get an action? There I mean, are actually one the... ahead of you. I'm just taking... Oh, okay, sorry. Okay. The is the wyvern dead yet? Not yet. He's still alive. He's got well, a handful of It's points. very close to him, right? I reckon we yeah. should kill okay. it. Well, And it's almost certainly going to uh, recover from the spook this round as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. We should probably yeah. hurry up and kill that then. We got a game plan, or are we just gonna stab at it? What what other game plan is there? I don't know. Sing it a song. 
<laughs> right, I'm gonna stab it. You can stab it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, let's do your thing. Sure. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I let's see it, guys. One. Okay. A one. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, your blade rakes off its hide. Uh, I rolled a fifteen. A fifteen. Okay, that's a hit. Uh, with my uh, thirteen damage. Ooh, nice. Thirteen. Ooh, yeah. And that finish, finishes it off. Yeah. Blade comes Fuck down. Yeah. Boom, takes the things ahead from his body. Yeah, Felby style on this round. dies, Fuck thrashing yeah. wildly. <laughs> okay, uh, this is what you see as you run out. Your brother taking Wyvern's head off, Aldric. Nice. Hi, Aldric. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> nice chop. <laughs> um, so I come out, and there's a dead Wyvern, and there's an, a, a guy on the floor, and a Wyvern behind him. Yeah, yeah. Well, the the guy is the, the the rider of the second down wyvern is actually on his feet, blocking the bridge now. Am I? Can I get to him and get all my attacks in, or is that a move and attack? Uh, it'll be a move and a, and an attack at this distance. I'll tell you what. I'm going to stand where I am standing, unless the, wait uh, the the. Jadarian and Shanta are in between me and him, aren't well, they? I, I moved and dragged her with me but to behind you. So Oh so oh yeah. you guys are behind me now. Okay. Yeah. Then I go I point at the at the knight and I do this. Okay. He salutes you. And uh I, 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 breaks, I, I, breaks I into flourish, a trot and comes towards I flourish you. Flourish my run sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. And I stand at the ready. All right. This way, I get all my attacks. <laughs> yep. You move. Uh, okay. <laughs> he closes the distance. Closes the dis distance between you and. Uh, I drops parry into one a, attack. A stance. Can I parry one attack? Yep. Okay. It's your attack. It's your attack first. So. Okay. Well, I'm going to reserve one for parrying. Yeah. Okay, so is he. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> anyway. <No. laughs> uh, that's a twelve modified to a seventeen. Is that hit? What? Sorry, there's a, a seven, bit of lag seven, there. Say that again. Sorry, modified 17. Okay, modified 18 from his side. Clang! Your blades clash against them. And uh, he then stabs for you with his with his uh, reserved attack. Uh, Perfect and parry. A 50. Oh, okay, right. So, you <laughs> he parries your blow, reposts, you parry his, kind of jumps back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, meanwhile, Bellis. I start to circle. <laughs> yeah. Is this a, a, a nightly thing which I'm not supposed to intercede in? or? Oh, I don't know. Boys, I don't know what they're going to be like. So. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'm going to cast a light spell on the knight in his eyes. <laughs> Fuck your honor. Yeah. Okay. All right. Save is a one. <laughs> <laughs> So there's, that's the, there's this. dazzling light around the uh, your opponent's head. Uh, you think you may even see oh. a few small birds spinning. You're not entirely sure. <laughs> every, every, everything gets reduced uh, by four attack rolls, saving throws, yeah. armor class. Yeah. Okay. Is that an area effect? No. Oh. No, it's just a one person. No. He snarls in fury. Thunder treachery! He shouts. Where are you? <laughs> Flailing around with his sword. Uh, Okay, anything from Shanta, Hagen, or Avel? Uh, Shanta, being, as she's being pulled, she kind of has a moment to snap back into the whole Tusker, and she just kind of, as she's like running along with Jodaren, she's just going to be like, ah, um, I need Tusker. She can't be gone. Like, just crying, like her eyes out, okay. just breath. She just can't. The enormity of it begins to press down upon you. You can hear screams, the occasional burst of spell fire, the sound of blades ringing off blades. You think you hear Targon's laughing voice echoing through the halls. Highthorn, fallen. How can this be? Hagen? All right. Um, 
Hagen's not interested in their one-on-one -on -one duel. He's going to go and try to attack on uh, this guy. Uh, yep. Okay. That's uh, 10 plus 3 is 13. All right. Um, he catches sight of you coming in around uh, around his side, rapidly backs up, and for a moment is standing atop the, uh, the wall of the bridge with only uh, the solid drop to his back. Uh, his blade weaving back and forward between you, between you and Aldric. Avel? Um, I'm on the bridge too, right? So I can see this yep. fight. Yeah. Well, I'm going to join in, you know? Um, okay. So he's he's up on one of the ledges, right? Uh, of At the, the moment, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he'll be able to see me. So I'll just be like, yeah. I'm coming for you, man. And I'm going <laughs> to take my big, long bastard sword and... You know, have a swing at. You... Okay, go for it. This guy's armor uh, class six... 15, as I said. Six... Uh, yeah, 16. Okay. It's a 2d4 damage plus uh, yeah. your bonuses. <clears throat> um, five. Five? Okay. Okay. Um... First blood is spilt as you manage to hack, takes just across the top of his thigh, a bright flash of crimson, and he stumbles sideways, almost loses his footing, and then kind of almost collapses onto the bridge itself, retaining his footing. Uh, Judarian and Aldric. There'll be time for honor another Judarian, day. Judarian, you can see... Carry on, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. I'll say there'll be time for honor another day. And like lightning, he just fires off two arrows. Uh, 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 that is a 20 and a 16. Jeez. Beautiful. <laughs> Within 30 foot. Wow. Yeah. That is 12 and 7. 19 damage with two arrows. Boom. Okay. Uh, both of them hit him sort of clump, clump through his breastplate. He pitches backwards, collapses, and then <laughs> pulls himself to his feet. Blood pouring from his mouth, barely able to stand but determined to die on his feet, blade in his hand. That can be arranged. Uh, first attack is a modified uh, 12. Is that a hit? He has on, he's AC, AC 15. Okay, Can't, second he attack. He staggers back, the blade whoosh, just misses in front of him. Second attack is a modified 21. Okay, the dude only has one hit point left. And you take it and... Uh, I take it, whoop. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Skewer <Okay. laughs> him. <laughs> Together with his head. <laughs> he just falls to his knees, <clears throat> coughs once, and then slumps face down on the bridge in front of you. I grab Freedom. him by the head. Sorry. Carry on. I grab him by no, the head and, and pull the ronster out of his neck. Nice. Freedom is a downed wyvern away. The only thing standing between you and the far side of the bridge. I have one attack left. You're going to run down and have a go at it, are you? Can I? Well, I don't know. How far away is it? Okay. No, go for it. Um, Having uh, felled the uh, Mordas soldier, Aldrich breaks into a run and. Well, if I have to run to the, him, uh, then I can't. I can't attack him because he's too far. Then, then I'll. No. Just okay. No, you can, you can, you can reach him this round. You can reach oh, can? him this round. How damaged does it look, the wyvern? Uh, it's what, maybe about a third of its hit points gone, you think? So it's taken a few injuries from your wing and uh, the crash. Actually, I'm... Attack rolls, please. It, no? Okay. Oh, if, yeah, in that case, if, if I can reach it and attack, I will. Uh, it's an, a modified 13. No. Okay. Uh, things AC 15, even grounded. Okay. Uh, so your real ransom fails to penetrate the thing's thick and scaly hide. Yeah. All right. Bellis. Um, I hold my action. Okay. Uh, Shanto, Hagen, and Avel in any particular order. Uh, I, I am on the correct side of the bridge, right? You are, yes. 
Uh, I will cast a uh, magic missile on the thing that seems to have the least hit points. Well, uh, the only the only thing remaining for you is That'll the uh, is the downed one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <apart> from... <laughs> oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll go for the the downed one then if I can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that is five uh, hit points. Five. Okay. Magic missile <laughs> blows its uh, chunk into things. Hide. Blood flows out. Lifts its head and roars. Begins to shamble down the bridge uh, to close the distance between it and Aldric. A bite is imminent. Uh, Hagen. Hagen's, I guess, going to charge at it with his short sword. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Plus three is 15. 15, exactly what you need. All right. Nice one. Uh, modified five. Okay. You run in, slash with your blade. Another great gash opens in on the wyvern's hide, and then it lunges forward. 18, that hits. No, oh, sorry, it's 2d4. One five damage to Aldric. Ow. That puts you on exactly I like that exactly zero. But what does that mean? <laughs> you're, you're unconscious, unable to act, but not bleeding out. Okay. Um, yeah. Just a minute. I know you're holding an action. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. And then it rears itself up on there, its claws and with one of them, slashes for Hagen. 12 plus four is 17. Yeah. That hits Hagen. Yeah, it does. Six damage to Hagen. Aye. Hagen yeah. likewise drops, just almost gutted, clean down his front, blood pouring from these huge claw furrows. Oh, she, oh, she. <laughs> Beans <laughs> uh, roars its defiance at the rest of you. Okay, um, Aldrich's down. Who else is on five? Judarian. As it's roaring, I shoot it twice in the mouth. Oh, did I not get <laughs> my action? Oh, uh, no, you're right. You're quite right. Sorry, wait, 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 wait. I've uh, neglected a bell. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, am I nearby the wyvern? Probably, right? You can close to, to melee range with it if you want to, yeah. Okay, um, so I'm just going to hack at this thing. Okay, well, it's just dropped your brother, so... Yeah, well, this is payback. Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> 20! Oh! Bro, bro, high five! <laughs> <laughs> From the floor. Oh, yeah, like, I'm unconscious, but I'm high <laughs> five. <laughs> Um, no, you don't roll. It's automatic, automatic max damage. Oh, is it? Nice. Yeah. So that's that's two d eight plus one. Oh, that's seventeen. <laughs> Dang, I only oh. had twelve hit points left. Aww. That's my bro, bro you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have killed it as well. Then I rolled nineteen damage after two hits. Uh, okay, right. <clears throat> yeah, you just eviscerate the thing with your uh, battle sword, and a moment later, thwack, thwack, a pair of arrows punched into the thing's. Uh, rapidly cooling corpse at your feet, Aldric and Hagen. Who, who looks worse off? Um, uh, I'll, I'll obviously, I'll run over as well. Uh, okay, I, I, I run to Hagen and uh, stabilize him with, a, with an Orison. With, with an Orison, okay, well, cool. Actually, I, actually, I just with, with uh, stabilize him without a spell. You stabilize yeah, okay, cool. him with an orange? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you get this orange okay. from? <laughs> I, I, I run over to Aldric and I don't stabilize him, but I do hold his hand. I, I high five him. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> and then I st stabilize uh, uh, Aldric. I think no, I'm unconscious. I, I'm not really high fiving anyone. I'll... <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll start bumping in. Uh, uh, <laughs> Save that for later, please. Um, <laughs> TMI. A couple of Orisons and, a, and a rapid battlefield healing. Yeah, I'll and go over. You have, you have Aldric and uh, 
Do I have to roll both. for battlefield healing? Do I have to roll anything? Uh, no, they're Hagen's at minus one and uh, Aldrich's at zero, so it's. Uh, but I mean, do I have to roll anything to make it successful? Normally, it'd be a wisdom check. Do you want me to do that then? Because obviously, mine heals one d three hit points. No, not needed. No. no. Okay. The battle is effectively over, so you're not under in a stressful situation. Okay. There is still slaughter going on in Highthorn itself, but you yourselves are under no immediate danger. You get your walking wounded to their feet. Let's get our horses and get the hell out of here. <laughs> yeah, I um, feel that. I quickly look over the the body of the the fallen the fallen um, guy I just fought and the wyvern and see if there's anything worth grabbing. Uh, he has a quality longsword. Those things are, can fetch up to a thousand gold pieces in the right the right sellers. But if you want to spend uh, time searching him, then, then maybe he I don't know got copper pieces or something. If that's what you're after. <laughs> no, no, just just seeing it. A I was thinking. I think. I th I th yeah, maybe like a signet ring, proof that he is of House Mar Mar Mardoth, uh, or or anything indicating his plans, something like There's that. There's a giant M meant. on his breastplate. No, he, he <laughs> <laughs> has a nice little contract in his pocket explaining. Yeah, his exactly. Yeah. No, he's wearing House Mardoth colors, so you can. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll rip yeah, that off his body. Yeah, something yeah. like that, just 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 as proof, you know. I mean, we've got the eye, right? The yeah. demon eye thing. Well, let's just get out of here. Well, we don't. We don't know if we've got the eye. Yeah, we don't know. I'm so now that. So, am I right in saying that the combat around us has ended? It's yes. Well, if you if you yeah if you um make a rapid exit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Once I realise that the enemies are down, she's just gonna kind of. Um, uh, but the, we we need to go back. Um, we need we need the eye. We we can't let them get we hold of it. Go. This place is overrun. Let's go. We can't let them have the eye. There's no going back right now. We'll fight another day. But for now, we need to flee. <coughs> I'm, while I'm saying this, I'm going to quickly grab arrows if I can pick any arrows up. Yeah, fifty percent of the ones you've shot, you can retrieve. Well, I'm going to pick them all up, even the broken okay. ones. Okay. Right. Am I even conscious right now, or am I just like... You and uh, Aldrich are at a single hit point each, just conscious. Okay. All right. If I would stagger, have done my stagger. battle, can I do my battle with healing as well on top of that? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Blue dice is Aldrich. So it's three for Aldrich. Uh, oh, sorry, one for Aldrich and three for... Ooh, I've got two. Uh, three, hit, <laughs> three hit points. Yay. One, one on Aldrich. each elbow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rub those together. Yes. <laughs> Some more so you um, <laughs> you recover your horses, bind your wounds, and put Highthorn behind you. Valandor is a day's ride away. Is that where you're heading? Yes. Uh, yeah. Planta doesn't want to go any she doesn't want to go too far because she when the action dies down she wants to go back for the eye we will come back for the eye when it's safe to come back and with numbers they're gonna leave once they if they we know who, who we the know eye, who attacked us the eye was taken it wasn't there anymore let's move the eye's gone yes it was taken Tuska was dead in her office on the floor. She was poisoned. The eye was taken. Let's move. Let's not wait around. There's more soldiers. They might come out and they might get us. I'm um, seeing as Shanta didn't have a horse to begin with. I'll let her ride on mine because it's a big war horse. I, I yep. break out my war pony dirge and uh, start uh, trotting ahead down the bridge. Let's I'll go. I'll start running along with them then. <laughs> I'll um, okay. reluctantly hop on the back because. No one's going to go back with her, you know, she'll die, so she's Yeah. You have one last look back toward the bridge. Shanta, the place that was your home. The rest of you, the place that promised truths. And gave you truths after a fashion. It's and you leave sobbed. Highthorn she for the future. She just completely sobs.
they're there. Sol- <laughs> Saltara Mardoth. <laughs> the first daughter of Lord Ruthic Mardoth is the iron fist that he wields. Her plate armor caked with tiefling blood. She strides into Tasker Glimmer's office, <clears throat> removes her helm, puts it on the side table. The white plumes on the helm are spotless. You promised us the eye, Saltar Monador says. Where is it? Zura Hallow stares down at Tasker's body. Pythorn is yours. And all its secrets. I don't know where the eye is. Saltara Mardoth steps close, hand closing around the hilt of her great sword. You promised us the eye, Zura. Don't make me regret trusting you. She nods down toward Tasker's body. After all, she did. Listen. I, you're right, I promised it to you. I don't know why it's not here. No, no one else knew the command word to get through the... I'll find it for you, I swear. See that you do, Tiefling. The Mardoth commander says. Or you will join your mistress. She turns on her heel and leaves Zura alone with her treachery. Zura stares down a task of Glemmer's body. And her expression is the last thing we see. Her eyes filled with hunger. Filled with fear. The end of episode one. <laughs> that bitch. I hate her. <laughs> oh. oh, come on. She was always a traitor. <laughs>